Yo, Pancho, what's up? This is what we needed. Oh, for sure, definitely. Agree with that. Took me a while to like get this started working because uh you know I'm playing on emulator. And I had to get like I still don't think the settings are right for the emulator. And uh I think my webcam could be adjusted a bit. Boop, boop. Um, yeah, trying to get like the sizing for Streamlabs and getting emulator working and the right save and all that fun stuff. So if you're having a uh, grand day yourself. This is a classic. I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to do this or Budokai 3. Originally, it was going to be Budokai 3, but I uh, changed my mind. <laughs> I feel like this game would be more conducive to live streaming. You know, I probably prefer Budokai 3 as a whole. For more like fighting game standpoint, that famous is called. Well, yeah, clear it is. I went with it. Yo, Buki, what's up? BT3 is the Dragon Ball game. It sure is. I mean, yeah, I'm like, I'm especially after the recent Sparking Zero trailer. I absolutely want to, you know, play around with this. Because there's so much stuff we can do, and I hope we have a lot of fun. You know, take viewer requests and just toy around in the game. No, I know. Um... How do you do different custom? Custom 2. I don't know if this... I downloaded a game save. Sparking has a lot of potential. The effects look great. And three models seem to be looking better. E trailer. Yeah, the game looks amazing. I'm very, I'm very excited for it. What were the purple ones? Are those like special... Remember them fly, uh, or I remember them being iffy on them during the first trailer. Yeah, they seem to have like I mean that was forever ago. Like the unless you're talking, unless you're talking about like the teaser, you know that one forever ago. Um, yeah, it just like keeps improving. Like one thing that stood out to me in the trailer, which was like very tiny, was when Goku was during the Goku versus Vegeta match that they showed when. Goku was flying away from Vegeta. He, like, he was starting, like, looking up, and then his body, like, turned around. I'm like, that's incredible. It says I've got all the items. I'm looking for uh, one item for Goku here. I think it was Halo. Yeah, there it is. Halo. I love thy enemies. What's up, Tank Factory 3? Now that's certified a classic. Absolutely. Uh, fun fact, with the Halo, if you equip it to uh, Goku Vegeta, they actually get the physical Halo. 
which I think is pretty fun. I feel like one custom I always really liked too was um Oh, where is he? Cause I kinda wish they had like Z Oob in this game too. I think all the equipped characters have this like red Potara kind of thing. Remember one I always liked on Oob was um Might have been in this. Yeah, or or charge pink because it's like boo. <laughs> I always like that. Face who Janemba was my dog. Yeah, Janemba. Where is that bloke? Janemba. There he is. Well, this isn't like the connection thing, so I can't. I think another old fun one was like Ultimate Gohan, but like. With, like, the Super Saiyan aura kind of thing. Or the Charge Ultimate. Yeah. Mid Goku. Oh, you, you know it. Actually, let's, let's go to the, um... Let's go to the match select screen. I still have, like, on my actual PS PS2 um, memory card of this, because I still have this game. Um, I still have matches from, like, 2009, like, saved on the save match thing. There's some, there's some sick, there's some, like, really old videos I have on YouTube that are, like, unlisted from, like, a camcorder footage of, of some of those matches. But, like, yeah, this roster was, like, so cool. Uh, we'll, we'll start and see, let's go on from there. We'll see how good I am. But, like, yeah, like, mid-Goku... And it's cool that they're actually going to include these in Sparking Zero. Which, of course, means that it's just way more Gokus. But, like, I love the um, Super Saiyan one because he has, like, the fluffy hair and he gets the angry Kamehameha. Like, I really can't complain too much about the roster. Like, yeah, I kind of wish they had a little more characters. Like, I do wish we had, you know, all of GT Vegeta. Not just SS4. I really wish we had um, late Dragon Ball Chi Chi, not just the kid version. That's probably the one that like feels like the most missed to me. I I, I love all the Dragon Ball drag OG Dragon Ball like pre time skip does not get enough love whatsoever, and it really is a shame. And that's why I really love that they added that Tenkaichi Budokai DLC to. Kakarot. And which is why I'm kind of sad that I don't think we'll get this in the base roster for Sparking Zero. Like, I wouldn't mind, you know, if they leave, like, all them out for, like, a big DLC. But, like, they gotta add Great Ape, though. Whether that's attached to Kid Goku or Kid Go... It might be attached to... Great Ape might be attached to Kid Gohan in the game. If they're not going to include Kid Goku at the base. It's just a thought. But they added like all these. Like Tenkaichi 3 to Tenkaichi 2. Didn't add like. A ton of, of new characters right. And like the ones they did add were kind of like weirder ones. Like I think it was like Nam and. Uh, ooh, trying to, might have been like Nail, maybe. Um, Bobbity. I know. I remember that was like a big one they had. It was like Bobbity, like really just kind of leftover characters. But I think that was the charm of Budokai Three was that they added like, you know, just about everyone is here. But I do wish the music was better. That that's that's my one like complaint with Tenkaichi Three. I'm not the biggest fan of the music. Especially compared to, like, earlier Tenkaichi games or the Budokai games. But the fact that you got, like, every, like, a lot of people. Or, originally, they were going to add um, Bardock's other subordinate, like, the one dude. But I think they replaced him with Fasha. Probably the right call. 
I mean, now we got a, another female character with a female great ape with, I think, the only rush move in the in the game for a giant. Or at least for, like, a great ape. Tenkaichi 2. I, I like to play through Tenkaichi 2 one of these days. I have, I got the physical copy, like, last spring. I wonder if we'll get Hurugarn's first form, too. Also, can I hate that this game kind of started the whole Super Baby 2 thing? Like, it makes sense for this game, but, like, fighters, like, you don't need to add Super Baby 2. Just call him Baby Vegeta. I saw the newest Speed Duel set. I love how we're getting Dandelion, Sakuretsu, MSC, and Pot of Avarice. Oh, you're getting a lot of cool stuff in that. Sadly, no Air Neos, which is unfortunate. Like, I, w like, I wonder with, like, GT DLC, if, we're, if we'll get, like, you know, alternate 17 and then Super 17. You know, just, like, add the whole whole thing. Because I really think that they should go off the philosophy of, like, Xenoverse 2 and just keep releasing sets and stuff. Like, I'd love to see all the Shadow Dragons. You know, Nova, Ice, Sin, like, all the other ones. I think, like, Nat Natron, Shinron was, like, one of them. And, of course, you know, we're getting... I think the base game will pretty much just be easy and super, if I had to guess. And then, like, Dragon Ball and then GT... Daima might be in the base game. Might just be DLC. I don't know. Future Gohan. Oh, yeah. I, I really hope Future... I love Future Gohan. I really hope he's in the game. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if we get, like, a DLC with, like, that and, like, Future Kid Trunks. Because I don't know if Future Kid Trunks has been in any of the games. Like, we get Trunks with Sword, but not, like, the kid version. Because, let me say, Future Gohan, he is badass. Love this guy. And potentially even get him with the one arm. I know all of his super moves have him use one arm, because you know, you have to have get away with some things, but... I mean, just like seeing like all stuff from all this game that could potentially be in, Sparking, even if as DLC, has me really excited, because they can do that. Like, they're going to do this and more, right? Like, yeah, I don't expect, like, Devilman and Nam and maybe Arale. Maybe we'll get some, like, uh, some Toriyama exclusives. I mean, I know Arale was in Dragon Ball, but maybe we'll get some uh, additional things, right? You know? Additional properties. Maybe we'll get Chrono Trigger, <laughs> not counting Tapion. <laughs> you know, maybe we'll get some from Chrono Trigger or Sandland or Blue Dragon. Dragon Quest. More Dr. Slump stuff. Because I think we can only get more uh, Red Ribbon Army character arc stuff, like General Metallic or Commander Red. I have an annoying feeling that SS4 would be DLC. Yeah, I and I wouldn't be surprised, just because you, you've seen the roster, like the roster page thing. There isn't that much room, right? There's not that many more characters in this. And they're clearly going way heavier in the super route, which I, I get. But I won't see, and I don't see it as an inherently bad thing. Because remember, SS4 uh, Gogeta and Kid Goku GT were DLC and fighters. And they were awesome in that. They were so good. They were so cool with their own, like, unique mechanics. And if they go that route, we could potentially get, like, a huge GT thing with, like, a story mode pack with new stages and characters, transformations, the whole shebang. Because I don't know what the what the engine is like, right? It could be a thing where they just take a lot of assets from Xenoverse, polish it up, and, like, transfer it over. So as far as we know, it may not be, like, a ton, a ton of work. Like, as long as it's not, like, overly expensive. But I think Sparking Zero can be, like, the next Xenoverse, where they just give us... Like, at the end of the day, it could be, like, the greatest Dragon Ball game. I know, like, live service games is kind of annoying, but... Hey, with Dragon Ball, you got so many content, things are going to always be left out early on. But they have been working on the game for a long time. So, who's to say? But of course, I would love like some GT in the base game, even if it's just like 
you know, Goku, Vegeta, um, and, like, just a couple of, like, the villains, right? Baby Vegeta, Super 17, Omega. Something to, to start off with, because, you know, I, I would still love to get characters like Pan, GT Trunks. It's possible to have everything at this point, especially with all the super stuff. Yeah, and the fact that they're adding, like, Bergamo and that one lady, like the like the quick quick one that they showed in the trailer from the Tournament of Power, that kind of says that they're going to add a lot more than people probably were hoping for. I mean, I'm I'm just hoping we get some super manga characters, right? I'd love to see, like, Moro and Granola and, like, Ultra Ego Vegeta. But who knows? So I'd be interested. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if they left like entirely like GT stuff out. But like, what are you gonna do? I mean, I'm expecting like a lot of the movie stuff to be cut out too. Again, we saw with with fighters, Broly and Bardock and Cooler and all that stuff. Like they were DLC. Shisa. Ooh, how did I? By the way, anyone who um wants to see some interesting videos on this, check out Rising Jericho. He 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 mostly does let's plays. Um, but he has done like character guides for this game, and I I think it's fascinating. Like this game still plays so well. And I think the thing that, like, really, like, I enjoy about this game compared to Budokai 3, I mean, like, the main thing is the roster, really, at the end of the day. Because that's probably like, my main complaint about Budokai 3 is, like, the, the re relatively, at least compared to, like, you know, especially this or, I mean, like, Tenkaichi 1 is just, like, the small roster. And really the small stages, too. But, like, you gotta love these special moves of the Meteor Smash. I hope that they add custom, more better customization in Sparking Zero. Like, that, that's my, that's a hope I wish. You can cut, like, they have, you know, kind of like, I think, uh, wrong. Boom! Like, I think Raging Blast 2 had, had that, like, Raging Blast games where they had some customization for, like, special moves. Yeah, Budokai 3, I love the customization for the characters in that, and I really enjoy... Like, I enjoy playing Budokai 3 more than this. Because of... Well, like you said, like, it's more... It feels like more depth, like, per character. And it has, like, a more fighting kind of thing. You know, it's like... It's more like a Tekken kind of thing, where this is, like, a Naruto Storm, and Fighters is Marvelous Capcom. Like I, I mean, I enjoy all all the games, and also I just love the aesthetic and the the graphics of Budokai Three, and the music. God, the music it's so good. Like that that that's the shit I I love. Like I wish you can look at the costumes beforehand. That's nothing that kind of like bugs me a little bit. That's also one thing that bugs me about Budokai Three too, is that when you're in versus mode, you can't read the capsules. That, like that's so that's so dumb. Like if you want to change your setup during like a multiplayer thing, you gotta be like, well, I I have to go out and go to like capsule customization and recreate my custom if I want to see what they look like. Unless you remember all of them by memory, which is possible, but it's still like, ugh. oh yeah, the arena fighter. Yeah, that's that's the whole thing, and that's why people are fine with these games not being like at Evo 
and stuff because it is more um like it's supposed to replicate the anime more than being like a, a fighter like i would love if the sword mode added more like rep replication of the things like goku versus uh tien i'd love to see a giant piccolo in the game Like I'm a big fan of like the OG Dragon Ball, just from like a narrative perspective. Like it'd be cool if we got Dragon Ball Tien. Oh shysta. Stop moving. Ah! Like, I think it would be really fun if the world... That's a way to win. <laughs> um, Yeah, like, I think it would be really fun if the world tournament had more of, like, a gimmick to it than just they can run right into death. By the way, if anyone's enjoying the stream, uh, feel free to give it a like or, like, share it out or whatever, you know? YouTube engagement. YouTube likes engaging. Oh, shyster. Come like, may like, maybe we can get, like, Goku Jr., you know? <laughs> Goku and Vegeta Jr., or, like, final Goku. Like, we saw in, um, like, Xenoverse 2 and Kakarot. Like, this grab. do 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 Boom! Booyakasha. Penetrate. It's not as cool as Super Dragon Fist. Everything I got to this punch. Like, comparing this to, like, Budokai 3. Like, Budokai 3 has much better cinematics, too. And this house has more cinematics. And there are definitely some like badass moves. I think two of probably two of my favorite supers in the game is um actually three. One one is like Burst Rush from uh, Ultimate Gohan. Um and then there's that other ultimate from Future Gohan, and then the ultimate from uh Super Android 13. I love that shit. The one where he's like keeps like punching him as they're moving and then oh, it's so good. I think I'm going to jump into uh, training real quick, though. Is that ultimate training? I think four is like the armorless one. Oh, has anyone ever played Super Dragon Ball Z? That one, that, that that's a pretty underrated game. That is like an, a good old arena arcade fighter. So I hope they put these costumes in the game too. Let's see here. How do I do the... Okay. Fun fact, that can actually block beam attacks. Yeah, Super Dragon Ball Z, it's it's on PS2. It's really cool. It has a really it has like a very like manga art style. Um a very like it's, it's a very arcadey game. But there's a lot of depth, like a lot of depth to it.
Love like the KO can look. He can bump this up too a few times. Okay, you can you can do it four times, or I guess that f first one ended. Yeah, you, yeah, you can re really just just go on ham. And now we're stuck in here. Dude, look how much damage that does. Yeah, it's like the only Dragon Ball game, like Super Dragon Ball, to do like the manga art style. Like the um like like Namek and Tommy's Lookout and stuff. This is classic. So I do miss the original Kaoken attack he had in Tenkaichi 1 where he defeated Nappa. But this is the Vegeta one he used, so... Ouch. Okay. And any requests from the audience for a match? Potentially do a potentially do a world tournament too. Where is the piece of soldier versus Apple? Yo, Team Adolce OTK, what's up? The goat. Frieza versus Cooler. Hmm. Frieza soldier is a pool. Like, they, they even put, like, freaking Frieza soldier. Like, and it's two characters, too. Because the second one's, like, a different guy. Versus a pool. Yeah, we'll, we'll do Namek. Android 17. 17 is pretty, pretty dope. I really like playing as uh, Super 17 in this game. He's really good. Oh, he's honored. You hear that? He's honored. Oh, guys, he's my ass. I'm just a soldier. Yeah, you charge so slow. Generic wave. Shit. Oh, he attacks so slow. How did that grab? Yo. Another singular beam. Yo, Ink, what's up? Yaja Robi in this game. Yeah, Rod, I mean, Yadro, he, he's really bad. Oh, God, the Tenkaichi one high-speed rush. Everyone had this back then. Um, yeah, Rod, is really bad. That's Sensu Bean, though. It is, it is like, one of the best abilities in the game, which is hilarious. All right. Uh, full power. Did that do anything? My attack didn't increase. Oh, God, he's kicking my ass. Get this. I like how it's like, look like he's going to do like two beams or something. And it's like, now nah, he's still just doing. I don't think full power charge did anything. And those beams are so tiny. God, he's so bad. Turn around. Turn around. It's a pool. What? What is his other... Sleep. Oh, he just sleeps. No. I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to kick his ass.
I can do it. Life risking blow. Get it. No, what? Yo, he dodged it all. Wait. Oh, no, he got hit by some of it. Oh. Oh. I can do it. No. No. Hiya. And he dies like Raccoon. Ah. Uh, that was an epic match of stupidity. All right, I heard someone say Frieza versus Cooler, but I didn't hear which one. So I'll, I'll decide. I think two is like the more metallic one, I think. All right. So we're going to do Meta Cooler versus Mecha Freezer. Which one do you like more? Oh, no, he's red. I don't mind, like, the, the more teal-looking cooler, but I do wish the games had, like, the more, like, pure silver one. Oh, yeah, this guy's, like, an android. He, he can't charge manually. The only character I don't mind that with is Super 17, because his, like, supers are really good. Though I believe Meta Cooler has instant transmission, though. Oh, he shoots, like, three out. Let's look up his skills. Yeah, okay, two for instant transmission, and then rebirth, which is supposed to be, like... Fun fact, Meta Cooler is one of the few characters you can play multiples of in, um, like, the team matches. I do prefer his buff form. Like, honestly, I wouldn't mind getting a tattoo of, like, buffed cooler. See, lock on bust. Finger blow sprosh is pretty good. I do wish the next game, like, Sparking Zero includes the uh, meta cooler core. Like we saw in Xenoverse 2. You know, like, like the giant OG cooler. Fine. Finger blitz barrage, motherfucker. Oh, yeah? How about... Yeah. Oh, come on. I did it to all right next to him. Oh, no. I got you. I'm not a big fan of not being able to charge, but it's fine. Oh, how did that hit through me? Yeah. Get some. I am Meta Cooler. I am the strongest in the universe. Wait, I can't charge for his ultimate, whatever, fuck it. Yeah, I'm really rusting off this game a little bit. Oh, surprise! That's why I like 17. He can absorb energy, blast a charge. Yeah, dude. Super 17 is great. I, I didn't hear what he said. 
Uh, any 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 suggestions next? Those are the only two I, I got. I really like the inclusion of a lot of these characters. Like, I wish we get like when we get. I assume we're gonna you know get movie DLC. We get like the characters and all their subordinates. Like I want the turtles and turtles crusher core. And slugs and his goons and android, Gogeta versus <laughs> Tao. Well, you said it. Oh goodness, where is? Do the Super Saiyan Five version. The mercenary Tao, General Tao. I remember Tao was really interesting because he was one of like three characters you gotta get via Dragon Balls in the original Tenkaichi. It was like him, Master Roshi. No, I think it was him, Master Roshi, Great Ape, and Great Ape Vegeta, if, if I recall correctly. And that was super cool because at the time, you know, these were not Budokai characters. Also, I love this sage. Might be my favorite sage in the game. Mount Palzu. Same thing as in uh, Budokai 3. Ah! Kill you. That, that, this is where, like, half of his health. Let's have, let's have some fun with this guy. What, what are my things? Uh, wild sense. Meh. Uh, power up to the very limit. That's good. I'm coming to get you. Oh, I was just like slightly under four bars. I believe Wild Sense is a one time use. So I'm going to reduce it slightly. It's peaking a couple times. That wasn't even close. I barely scratched an itch with that one. We'll, we'll run that back. Let, let's see if he can... That, that was our warm-up here. Coming to get you, Tao. Oh, motherfucker. Ooh, in the gut. That did like half. Oh, and he fell in the water. What a jerk. Oh, no, he got me. Oh, he's comboing. He's got the combo. I mean, that was, that was a pretty good rush. Yeah, well, uh, how about this one? <laughs> Just doot. Just completely wrecked him. All right, next. We also do team matches too. Don't have to stick with the one v one if you don't wanna. Kui, King Cold. Oh, you had King Vegeta. I think King Vegeta was a Tenkaichi three. Future Go On versus Bojack. Interesting. Okay. 
But do you prefer trunks with the sword? I do wish we got Koga in the game. That was like Bojack's subordinate that could also transform. Like, I, I get why they added Zangya, you know, more popular, but like the other guy has a transformation. And what about like Beto and Bujin and like all of them? I actually had Bojack Unbound on DVD back in the day. It was like one of the few ones I actually owned. It was that and uh, Fusion Reborn. Bojack. Show me the carnage. Yeah. Look at me and Bojack. Oh yeah, Wrath of the Dragon. That one's really good. That's That's one of the best ones. Like, objectively speaking. Get out of here. Burning attack! I also really love, um, like, they're, like, old school ones. Like, uh... Uh, World's Strongest and uh, Tree of Might and even like the uh, Cooler's uh, Revenge. Yeah, Lord Slug. I love how he like shakes his hands too. No, 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 not my ass. Do I have power up to the burning... What does burning heart do? An explosive wave. Oh, oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. I wasn't trying to do that. Whatever. Oh. What comes around goes around, I suppose. Shining sword. Come on. No. Burning attack. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, my God. Ooh, baby. Bada bing, bada boom. I think I think we can up the difficulty now. I think I'm warming up. Regular seventeen. Okay. We'll fight, um, second form cell. How about, how about them apples? Do a classic, classic match. Prevention. Ah, oh, shit. He ain't he ain't messing around. Uh, what's what's my moves? Android barrier, finish sign. Don't know what this does. Android barrier is nice. Uh, energy ball, photon flash, and then a rush. The nice thing about like the androids is like you can like keep attacking without worry about charging. It's just you can't charge manually, which is kind of a 
Although you do want to get out of the water, though, because you, I believe you charge slower underwater. Die. You're dead. So you really want to be more like a offensive with these guys. Get out. Oh shit, he's transforming. Didn't know we could do that. No, he found her. Krillin. Did your job dirty. Okay, increase attack and... I forgot the lightning bolt. Maybe just key energy or something. Oh, he's going super perfect. Die. Charge. Oh, he has... Mother... He has to, like, start from, like, the beginning. I think. Or is just... Stops charging? What? There we go. Yeah, why don't we just... What what happened there? Asshole. <laughs> Fine, if that's what you want it. Goodness gracious. I was trying to do his freaking super and it just didn't work. He just like went and just like I ain't doing it against not against that guy. Uh uh. You need to have a number next to your charge. A number next to your charge? I'm, I think I'm a little confused. Like, they had a freaking Salsa. Why did everyone like Salsa? The cooler in Budokai had the Salsa Blade. You got Salsa in this game. Like, I don't think any... I mean, you got Zangya, but I don't think any other characters had any grunts from the movie characters. So to be fair, it's not like you could really add a ton. I mean, I guess you could add, you know, androids uh, 14 and 15. Maybe could have done, like, Paragus. These guys could have had, like, a grunt, though. The blue power meter... Uh... The blue power meter hits your max from scope. One, two, three, etc. Why does he charge for the super? Hmm. Yeah, I just want to know why 17 stopped using the blue moves. I think my, my charging thing just, like, randomly failed, though. But I was like, I was I got the move active. He charged, and he just stopped. Don't know what's up with that. Oh, let's see. Oh, 
Well, the berry uses the um ability meter, not the like actual en energy meter. I wasn't trying to use the barrier. Let's see Gohan. Let's see future Gohan against Super Boo. I'm here to kill you. I'll I'll test that after after this match. Interesting. Oh, he, he's he's going hard. He's going hard. Well, was, okay, so I, I get that, all right. But when I was trying to ch charge earlier, I was already, I already had like half of my blue meter. I got interrupted by cell, and I just couldn't like reach. Like I was already in the charge. Did I use the thing? And then like, can you not like recharge? Like if you're already in the middle of like getting the blue meter. I guess that makes sense. Kekiretsu Madan. Evil barrier. Maybe that's a piccolo thing. I love how Future Gohan is more um, like Gohan plus piccolo moveset. I think that's really cool. Like he's got the special beam cannon. Ooh, you're dead. Ha ha ha. That that makes sense. How about this? Kakuratsu Ranbu. Oh shit. You're dead. The feature gone's great. His, uh, history of Trunks. Like, History of Trunks and, like, Bardock. Really, the TV specials, in a lot of ways, are, like, so much better than the uh, movies, you know? In terms of, like, quick emotional impact. Okay, let's 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 up it. Margin. Yeah, let's do margin Vegeta, shall we? We have margin Vegeta against Broly. Yeah. I love like the like, like the weirder stages in this. Like you got Penguin Village, Mount Palzu, Muscle Tower, King's Castle. Like you got a lot of fun stages in this game. I mean a lot of them are just, you know, pout swaps. You got like like the desert too. Like, I I really do hope we get more like specific stages to the next game, you know, Sparky Zero, like Tria Might. Like different like like the original OG like world tournament stage. Like cool stuff like that.
you know, Planet Vegeta. I know this is just Planet, but we pretend it's Planet Vegeta. Because I guess what else is it supposed to be? Final impact. Oh, I can get around him. Game has 10 wastelands. But that's Dragon Ball, though. And it... Like, I, I expect we get, you know, stuff that was, like, shown kind of in the, um, like, Xenoverse games and Raging Blast, like, like the moon, like, cavern. Of course, we'll get, like, super stages, you know, like, Torment of Power and the, um, like, Beerus's Realm and stuff. Probably get, like, a snowy mountain stage for Super Broly. I mean, at least they included, like, the options to have them at different, um, like, times of days. Oh, no, he did a thing. Grab you first, fucker. Okay, what are my... Princess Pride and Majin's Awakening. I'm I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Shit. I'm I'm gonna die. In the end, you're still dead. <laughs> no, no, he got me. He got me good. Blew me up. I'm completely eviscerated. Story I'm trying not to have to draw too much. Yeah, and it's also something when you think about, like, all the crazy action that goes on in these games, or, like, in the, in the series. Like, keep in mind, like, all the civilians and all that stuff without having it be too much. Because we, we saw it when Majin Vegeta was blowing up the, like, the World Tournament. Like, that was, like, a big deal, right? Because, well, go figure, Vegeta's a villain. Huh, who would have thought? But I, I, I definitely get it. I mean, you started to see that in, like, the... Like war arc in Naruto, you know, <laughs> or like the last few things of Bleach, where it was just so many just white backgrounds. Oh, I did want to show some of this stuff off, though. Um... I think it was custom two. Like, I do think it'd be nice, at least in the next game, in Spark New Zero, that if we just have, like, one of these, and then you can press a button to, like, rotate instead of them taking up an entire row of, of stages. That would be cool. I hope we get some somewhat alternate versions of some stages. Like, maybe two different Namek stages instead of just one. I know, mind-blowing. I don't think that's something ever, anyone ever talks about. But... Namek went on like different in different location. It wasn't just like at this one location, you know. It's like it's like a city stage. Like there's more than one city. If we had like West City and whatever Hercule City or something. Yep. See there's there's that Halo. I equipped the Halo to Goku and now he has the Halo. It's one of those like really weird things. Okay, well, I, I should do this. Instant transmission takes two. Power of the very limit takes three. Uh, super explosive wave up. Okay. Also, his super dragon fist is one of the few attacks that can actually hit giant characters. Right in the face. Oh, 
Oh shit, he got behind me. Ow. How? I went behind him. Uh, I'm going to turn on the light. Okay. I won't let you get away with that. You're going down, Janemba. I took that personally. Yeah, Vision Reborn's really good. I always really dig Doug Janemba. Especially how they incorporated the movie into uh, Boo's Fury. Oh, I was trying to escape that. It's kicking my ass. Also, Janemba's one of the few characters, too, that I believe loses health when he transforms. Yeah, get fucked. Get thrown that big ball spikes. Oh, you fucker ran away. Oh, it made me waste a thing too. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna beat beat his ass like a Nigerian drum. Stop moving, dude. Geneva is going down. He is the direction he is going is of the southern kind. I don't think I can reflect sword blasts, maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I got lucky there. I only had enough for the Super Dragon Fist. Oh, this mother... Okay, he got hit. Oh! I don't know how I pulled that out. I don't know how I pulled that out. Holy smokes.
Geneva did not want to go down. All right. Any any uh, recommendations from the uh, chat? Final form free versus baby great ape. Excuse me. Well, I mean, I'd rather be great at baby. We'll do full power. Let's do a desert. Desert night. How about that? Bobby Spaceship. That would be a fun stage, too. I think of like stages that haven't really been in any of the games. Like the city where they fought Lord Slug with like all the lights and stuff. giant character oh I dodged one of them see realistically that'd be one of his best moves to use against me he's 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 a smart guy but unfortunately I'm a giant super saiyan ape oh the dunes protecting me he controls the spice controls the universe I'm gonna grab you again I, th I think his other one's like super explosive wave. Oh, he, he's hitting me. Oh, di gigantic flame. Oh, okay. Changing it up. Oh man, he 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 can punch great apes. Okay, he does have an explosive wave. Works for me. Get up. Revenge Death Ball Finale. I don't know why I was thinking it was going to be like Gallic Gun. Like Super Gallic Gun. Sure, Revenge Death Ball. You know, Freeza put up a good fight, I will say. Yeah, I tell you, when I heard about Toriyama, I was like right at the end of like a busy day, and it was just like. You know, that's like the last thing I want to hear, right? Because like Dragon Ball's always been part of like my childhood. Like or my life really, but you know, but it was around since since childhood. Since like Toonami days, you know. Like I think my first memories of it was like Cell Saga stuff. Most interesting thing, Nova's alternate color is um Ice Shinron. The way I put him in the game. Even though, you know, different moveset. He kind of reminds me of Hit, in a way. I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe, like, the stoic, like, super strong character. It's 
cyborg cow. Well, they freaking put peel off in the game. I know the, I believe the European or maybe it was just the Japanese version of Tenkaichi 2 had like extra characters. But if you're in the US, this game looks to have added a lot more, which is which is cool. No mid piccolo. Makes sense. Majub. I did slap on some custom auras for these characters, so I might as well uh, make use of them. So muscle tower, since these are muscular characters. <laughs> There's the dude. Like, we got, like, a whole Muscle Tower, like, DLC with, like, the, the Ninja Dude and Metallic and 8. Like, that'd be cool. Yeah, so I have, like, the Super Saiyan aura, and he has, like, the pink-blue aura. Oh, no, I'm... Ah... Dodge, I dodged backwards. I chocolate beam. Like I was amazed that they managed to make the chocolate beam like work in a in a video game. You know. Ooh, that, that at least protected me. Oh, I, I use wild sense. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Oh, I didn't have to, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, burst rush, love this move. Boom! Oh, oh what was that? No, I'm right behind you. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Ah, booyakasha! Ha <laughs> ha. That got him. See, the game feels good when you play really good, especially when you really start to learn a character. Like, I, I believe, like, some of the top two characters in the game are, it's, like, Broly and Perfect Cell and like I don't think OG is a top I don't believe he's considered a top two tier character I think 17's up there I think Broly is simply for just how big he is I feel like I generally see like Perfect Cell you know super perfect I don't, I don't know if they're interchangeable or what any character with like um, after image though, really good. That just dodges everything. Bird, 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 and Kibu are really fun. Just has really fast characters. I, I, I think Super Saiyan Two Gohan is like considered really good, also. We'll do uh go on against Turles. This is what I use for the uh, Tree of Might stage. I suppose you can also use like Wasteland Knight. But I I like this one because it feels I feel like Tree of Might was more like dark, right? More like moody dark. 
something about that 90s anime, I tell you, it's it's too good. Also, Turtle's another really fun character. Like, I, re I really love his whole fruit kind of gimmick. I, I, ne I never know quite what to do in those situations. Again, like, I, I don't play this game enough to, like, remember, like, the right counters for moves. But, like, playing this game, like, you can tell, like, there there's a lot of depth. Like, it's it's a game that you can get people learn base controls and, like, kind of button mash. And, you know, learn, like, base level. But there's definitely, like, a whole extra level to it all. Do I have explosive way unforgivable? Okay. Excellent. Oh, no. No. I don't think he got the boost. Ooh, baby. Oh, he charged fast. Oh, you're going down. You're going down, son. Middle of eating your fruit, not in a battle, not against me. Ha! Do it now, Gohan! Ha! So cool. SS2, Gohan, definitely one of the goats. I obliterated Turtles. Out of water. And any, any Rex from chat? How's chat doing? Hope everyone's hanging in there. Taking match suggestions if anyone wants to chime in. And like with Sparking Zero, I really don't want to like learn too much about this game, like relearn stuff. Because like when Sparking Zero comes out, there's gonna be like a whole hefty stuff in there to to figure out, I'm sure. Which has me really like excited about all of it. If it's like anywhere as close to this game, which I'm sure it will be and more. Because the thing is, a lot of the combo strings for a lot of the characters are are very similar, just given like the nature of the the high roster. And I would imagine it will be fairly similar to Sparking Zero. So we'll do Cooler. Ooh, Cooler and Bardock. How about that? That sounds fun, I think. Two badass characters. I definitely why, see why they put these two and uh, Rolly and Janemba in fighters. I was honestly a little surprised they put Janemba, but uh, pretty sure it's just because of Go Gogeta. <laughs> and now he really hates Sans. Like, this cooler form is great. It's also why I, like, super kind of bugs me, right? Like, I know Toriyama created Golden Frieza. But, like, you had this, like, you know, Frieza already, like, the race already had, like, the forms established. And you had this, like, cool fifth form, and you could have done something cool with Frieza, and they just didn't. They're like, oh, we'll make him just different color. Yo, Cheshire, what's up? Welcome back yourself. Bardock is kicking my ass! He is kicking my ass! And now Freeze is black. <laughs> 
Yeah, like like they they should have went up with like forms like this. Like, sure, it didn't maybe didn't have to be like. Oh, it's like a psychokinesis. I can't get an edge in on this guy. Yeah, like, yeah, but like, yeah, this doesn't have to be like Cooler's form, but could have just been like another form, right? Fucking wild sense. I'm I'm gonna die. Hi ya. That's why I'm kind of worried that if they bring back cooler. Like it'll be cooler, but with like golden form, you know. And it's like, where's the fun in that? Like, where's the design fun in just giving them a spray paint, a palette swap? Like that's why Super Saiyan Blue was like so dumb. Like, yeah, it looks cool, it feels powerful, but it defeated the whole purpose of Super Saiyan God. And, like, how did Vegeta get it? He just kind of... To, you know... Because the whole thing with Super Saiyan God is that you need, like, a whole praying circle for it, basically. You know, it's supposed to be, like, less muscular and didn't have, like, the Super Saiyan motif, per se... But it had, like, the unique fire aura, and, like, it felt powerful, and that's why they went with red and not blue. And when they add blue, then it's like, well, what's the point of, of Super Saiyan God anymore? And, like, it, it's it's silly. It's it's ultimately silly. And they, But then they start getting to other characters like Frieza, and, you know, it's like, can you stop... How did mine miss an motherfucker? Like, I don't know how to teleport behind that. <laughs> I wish I gave you like prompts. How did he hit me? You're definitely getting hit, you fuck. Oh, ho, ho, fucking hell. I didn't think that I'd kill, but I can't believe I managed to pull that out. I am the strongest in the universe. Cooler's badass. As much as people don't dig GT... Uh, uh, be, oh yeah, no, that's the thing though. People love Super Saiyan 4, and that's a good reason why, is because it looks so unique, but it fits like the theme of it. Like it's great. <laughs> I don't think anyone has like a real issue with it. You know, it's it's cool that they added, um, you know, they tied it back to like the original monkey design. Again, I don't mind Super Saiyan God because I think God Key is a really interesting concept, but instead of exploring that more they just turn it they turn into a super saiyan with super saiyan blue yeah yeah there was like yellow piccolo which was like awakened piccolo and then orange pick like he's just like just call me orange piccolo it's like i'm fine if he's like buffer and he's kind of like a slight different color because you know he's the, like names are like weird plant dudes basically but they could have called it something cooler right um like you know that, that was my big problem with uh super saiyan beast was that it just came out the end, it it felt out of nowhere, just ended it and like You know, with what? Like, yeah, I get, you know, like let's say Lord Slug, right? You had the the false Super Saiyan. But that was also because we knew of Super Saiyan, right? We knew that was like gonna be a thing. So that makes sense to like go towards that. Beast just felt like an a complete ass pull. It doesn't really make any sense. It's weird that Gohan just has this like random super power up. 
And again, wasn't the whole point of him being like ultimate Gohan, you know, being the um like Elder Kai awakening was that he didn't have to go Super Saiyan, like this was his like power, so shouldn't Super Saiyan just kind of be redundant for him? Like it's <sighs> Like, yeah, Piccolo absolutely deserves a power-up. It makes sense for, like, the, the Awakening thing, but, like, why is, why does he have to change color? <laughs> like, that that's not a Namek thing. He can, like, fuse with people. He can, or fuse with other Namics, rather. You know, he, he can turn giant. Like, he has stuff. It's like, it's like a Super saiyan to justify power levels of characters. Right. It's like if Tien started like shooting up Super Saiyan blood in him just so he can get stronger, basically. GT is like it's good on paper, but the execution's always been kind of rough. But the, but they at least feel more like story arcs than Dragon Ball Super does. Like they at least have more of an arc and more interesting things going on at least like as a whole compared to super where super is just like kind of pointless fighting like, at least gt try something different at least he try to move forward the story of dragon ball instead of just kind of keeping the same status quo that like z set like vegeta <laughs> You know, he had, he had a whole story arc of, like, being the villain until he realized Goku was, like, stronger than him. And then he just completely ignored that. Come super. Yeah, you know, making Pil Piccolo a brute seems counterintuitive. Yeah, that, that's a fair point. But, you know, maybe that's what he needed. Because this kind of whole thing is like he was tactical, but then he ended up getting like shafted at the end. <laughs> Beast is the ultimate life form. Live and learn. Yeah, his next Super Saiyan form, he has black hair with red stripes. Now that scene sounds like a deviant art thing. Yeah, I used to love, I don't remember the, the website. It's not up anymore, but it was, um, my favorite games dot net. Anyone ever go on that like back in the day? People fucking love Gamma One and Two, and I mean, I'm sure, I am sure they'll they'll be in in a Sparking Zero for sure, if not base roster, definitely like early DLC. And honestly, like for the record, I really enjoy Superhero. Like the only two things that bugged me was just Piccolo calling himself Orange Piccolo because that's just super uncreative. And the, the beast go on because it felt way too out of nowhere. But other than that, I, I really enjoyed it. I it was fun seeing Cell again. Like the action was a bit anime, but it was fun. The animation was beautiful. Like I don't think it was as good as, as Super Broly, but eh, I thought it was still good. Yeah, whenever we get Sparking Zero, I mean, who knows how long. I'm also surprised Fire Z didn't add more DLC either. That, that's one thing that's, I'm like, you think they would have, like, it, it just felt like with Fighter Z, like, they finished it. And, like, yeah, they did just add, like, the 4K stuff for PS5 and rollback netcode. But I'm also surprised they haven't, like, Arxis hasn't continued on with like the the fighters brand like they've been doing like all their other stuff but it's like fighters was like so hot they kind of just ended it with it and it's like come on you're leaving all this like money on the table i mean maybe they just had like the deal for the one game and like that's all they could do but i i don't know it would have been great to have like a bit more dlc like, I think it would have been really fun to have, like, Super Boo in the game and have, like, a mechanic where he uses, um, like, absorptions. There are really cool mods. Um, like, like there's a really good mod for, uh, for Raditz. Um, there's a really good one for Orange Piccolo. 
I think there's I think there's one for this first time I ever counter teleport. Um I believe there's one for Raccoon, I think. But like the Raz one is like super, super dope though. If anyone's ever seen that. Saturday Crush. God, that thing spreads. Karatz is really slow. Holy shit. Low class is right, I guess. Which is funny, because, like, Raditz really gets shafted. Like, during his fight, he was, like, the guy, right? And I kind of wish they went more in that direction when designing him in games, and not so much like, oh, he's just, like, the weakest one. Because that, that's not really fair, given context of his character arc. Like, he was kicking ass on, like, the likes that were, like, never seen. Be gone! And I miss. And now I have key reduction. Hooray. Oh. Oh, fucker. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I really hope we get Sparking Zero this year. It remains to be seen. I can't get out of this. I can't. He stomped me. I'm dead. Uh, yeah. Raditz kind of sucks in this. Low life is your king, dude. Oh, he was totally the dog walking Gokun Piccolo around the block and back. Fire's special faux show with the whole ice debacle. Uh, he's the head of the IRL Caps Corps once. Yeah, like I'm sure it's a licensing thing. But I'm a, again, we just got a rollback and uh, for, uh, 4K support, so I might pick that up for, for PS5. I mean, it's a super fun game. And, like, what we got is still really good. I really like the mechanics. I'm just more of a gimmick hog, so I kind of, you know, I'm always hoping that we get more, like, gimmicky characters. Like, looking at this game, you know, it's like... I mean, I think Super Boo would be, would have been really fun in the game just to have, like, the characters. I mean, I even... I mean, honestly, I probably would have been fine if we had Majin Vegeta in the game. <laughs> I know a lot of people didn't want, like, more Vegetas. I mean, Hercule would have been fun. More GT would have been... Oh, you know you know what? Actually, the, if I added one more character, which I think should have been in the game 1,000%, Omega Shinron. How do we have Gogeta and not Shinron? It doesn't make any sense. He could have had like a cool mechanic with like the Dragon Balls that they want. Like if you get the Dragon Balls, he actually gets stronger or something. Or he gets like new moves. I don't know. Something with that. Like I get why they added, you know, Baby Vegeta is, you know, popular and, you know, he's has a unique look and he got the cool stuff with the Great Ape. But like. That's more GT Goku. How, you know, we got Gogeta. How can we not get Omega? Like, this guy is like... We got Jiren. Jiren's a fucking piece of white bread. <laughs> he's he's toast. Like, Jiren, Jiren sucks. <laughs> we couldn't get Omega? Like, come on. Get out of here. Like, yeah, we don't need all the villains. But, like... They, they should at least have given us Omega. Doesn't make any sense. Look, Cheshire, I'm sorry. Jiren sucks. He he has like a boring design. He has boring powers, boring personality. 
boring backstory, and he's just really strong. Like at least like when you compare it to like Omega Shinron, right? He is like an orig- he is a guy born from like a wish from the Dragon Ball, right? As were the other shadow dragons. But he was born from like the strongest wish, and he could consume like the dragon like the Dragon Ball, like the namesake of the series, and become this you know, the thing that the characters use as like a backbone this whole time. Like that is perfect for a final villain. I I understand I think Jiren's design was supposed to be more of like a traditional looking alien dude. But it's just like all he did was punch and shoot like energy. Like it's not like what what was his backstory? Like, oh, he's super serious because he likes justice. I mean, he has like a whole team of people who love him. Everyone loves him, like in his universe. Like, what's his what's his problem? Like his dub delivery very condescending. Oh, he Omega. Yeah, like his voice is like super cool too. Like he's a weird uh, white super spiked dragon with like all the powers of like all the different shadow dragons. I mean, I get, yeah, like, the villains have become, have, like, sort of a meme with having forms and absorbing powers, you know, forms, forms and absorbing, and then, like, you know, forms and absorbing, more so absorbing. But keep in mind, this is also, like, re- remember, Dragon Ball is, like, a whole thing, right? Dragon Ball Z is just the anime. So you look at beforehand, I mean, Vegeta... Like, sure, I guess, if you count, like, his great ape form, but that was also because he was a Saiyan like Goku, which made him interesting. You know, then you had Frieza, who was the galactic ruler of the universe, which is, you know, it's interesting. And you had Cell, who's, who's, who's a, he's a robot, he's a robot bug with, with, like, horror elements. But I will admit, Cell is also the byproduct of a bunch of issues due to Toriyama and his uh and his team. Um, and then Boo is like this weird, like evil demon genie thing. <laughs> this this threat of of the universe kind of kind of deal. Like, what's what's Jiren? Right, you know, Justice Man. It's like in um, it's like Meet the Robins. You ever watch Meet the Robinsons that Disney movie where the kids like, where his friends like don't like the kid like the 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 bad guy's backstory. The friends were like, "Hey, you want to hang out?" And he's like, "Everyone hated me." It's like that's that's Jiren. I'm sorry, but it's true. He's just like a very like bland, milk toast, like inoffensive character, and this is supposed to be like the big bad guy of the entire universal thing, which I get. They don't, you know, the whole point is that you don't necessarily need like a huge, super scary villain guy for that. But they could have made like the backstory. They could have made his his look. They could have made his like abilities more interesting than just big punchy fireball dude. That's just where I'm at. I am at that. By the way, if anyone's enjoying the stream, feel free to drop a like. YouTube likes that engagement stuff. So I prefer Yamcha with the long hair. Uh, ooh, after image and power for it. Nice. Also, I don't think Tien has the volleyball fist in this game. That's kind of sad. 
Uh, I still like him. It kind of works on him not being actually a villain. I will say having one more flavor to him wouldn't be bad. See what Toyotaro does now with Dragon Ball. Well, um, he, he he's not dealing with Daima, right? Like, wasn't that supposed to be like a, a mainly Toriyama thing or something? I mean, he has like the 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 manga, Toyotaro. Um. Like, like, yeah, like, he doesn't need to be, like, a grand villain, but I don't think his backstory makes a lot of sense, and just, I don't know, they could have gave him something, like, he, he does have, like, his full power form. And he has, like, cool feats, but I don't know. It just, I feel like they could have had a little more time in the oven, is, is all's. Yo, Kui's whipping my ass. Fucking Kui. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm 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 really just button mashing. Trying to use after image. I think I believe you can stack after image. So I think even when you compare them to like characters like Moro and Granola, like like on paper they're more just they're more interesting. Like even like Goku Black, right? I think is is fairly interesting. Like even like hit like hits are really cool just because like powers alone, and he has like a you know similar stoic personality. Yeah, Yam Yamcha takes a lot of energy to do stuff. <laughs> I mean, Granola has like a lot of issues himself too. But like, but that's also why I said like on paper, right? A character that like uses wishes and wishes to become like stronger and stronger. Like e e even with uh, the the pride troopers, like Topo, at least he's like, hey, they're, they're they want him to be the next god of destruction. Like that's for me more thematically interesting because uh, you know the big part at least. That they're alluding more to in in um you know like Battle of Gods was that hey you have a character that Goku that wants to defeat Beerus he, like he wants to defeat like the God of Destruction so like had you had Jiren be the God of Destruction now Jiren oh wait shit now he has now he has God ability to access God Key. And that when Goku beats him, it's like, hey, he kind of beat, like, the precursor to Beerus. That is a lot more narratively interesting. Like, not only narratively interesting, but narrowly, more narr narratively fitting. Right? T tell me when I'm telling lies. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that fucker. Topo had something, felt like he had more grizzled behind him. Yeah, he had more of an edge. And his backstory made more sense than Jiren being a little bitch. <laughs> that, that, might be, that might be a little, uh, little uh, aggressive, but I mean, yeah. Like, Topo, like, definitely felt like he, like, you know, Topo. Top. He's the top.
Like that that just feels like that would be way more interesting for me. Let, let, let's do a big monkey battle. Monkey smash. By the way, I'm I'm loving Tenkaichi three. It's so good. I can play this game for hours. Like I love all the giant characters, though I do think all the great apes were kind of bad. <laughs> like it's definitely like a fun little gimmick, and be, you know some of the characters were fun, but I kind of wish we got giant Piccolo from like Dragon Ball, or like another giant character. Yeah, I'm I'm really curious on what the base roster for giant characters are gonna be. Like we we know there's gonna be great ape. Vegeta, probably be normal great ape. Um, we'll probably get maybe that giant robot from um, the Torment of Power, if I had to guess. If we get um, superhero stuff, probably, you know, giant Piccolo there um, and sell Max. But I'm, I'm, I'm certainly curious. On how much? Because they're adding giant characters, like they have to add like a good amount, right? Like in the base game, I would think. Like I remember first time fighting this dude in um Tenkaichi One, and it was like the wildest thing. Like they felt huge. It, it's like in um. What was the PS1 GT game? Grand some... I don't remember what it was called. But, you know, where you fought, like... It was like a Budokai game, kind of, but you fought against Super Baby Vegeta. Like, Great Ape at the end. Final Bout, yeah. Like, that boss was way too big. And I'm a little surprised we never got, like, a something like that in the Budokai games. But I think that, like, giant characters are are one of the things that really make the Tenkaichi games what they are. To really give that, like, emphasis, like, hey, yeah, anyone can be in this game. Even, like, these big-ass characters. And we even get, like, weird giant characters, like Pilaf Machine, and, um... You know, yeah, we get Hirudagarn. But also, like, the giant, like, buffy ones, too, that aren't, like, giant-giant, but still huge. Like, Garlic Jr. and Broly, and... Dr. Wheelo is huge. But I don't think we need, like, grade 8 for every single Saiyan. I mean, it's cute that they did it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to see it again. Like, Fascia is fun because it's just, like, a, you know, a female grade 8. And Bardock. Like, like, they have fun with it. It's like seeing what they would look like. And I do really enjoy what if characters i do think the g games should have what if characters but i just wish that they were more consistent with it you know like with super saiyan 3 broly and the the fusion what ifs like gokiel and tiencha and like the majin buu fusions like um like tiencha or cell and frieza you know stuff from like budokai 2 that Tiencha. Right? It's like... I, I enjoy stuff... Like, the what of stuff that makes sense and is, like, really fun. Like, Super Saiyan 4, Gohan, and Broly. Like, come on. That would be sick. Super Saiyan 3... We got Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta in the Raging Blast games. Like, that'd be fun. Right? I don't know how much stuff like that we we would we would get in the new games, but it's a it's a fun thought to to be to be had, is it not? 
Like how Sil Jr. is just like sitting down with his fingers just like, yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Heroes DLC would go crazy. Yeah, if he did like a what if DLC pack, I mean, I'd buy it. I mean, I, I assume we're gonna get Super Saiyan Bardock. But are we gonna get stuff like uh well it wasn't frost, what was chill? Was it? <laughs> are we gonna like chilled or um like Nico Majin Z stuff? Are we gonna get Carissa and Nico Majin? Probably not. Golden Cooler, maybe? I mean, I mean potentially we could even see Golden Cooler. Or Golden Robo Cooler. Um, Super Dragon Ball also had the um like Mecha Frieza with like the bazooka. It was like a fully loaded Mecha Frieza. Oh, didn't uh Kakarot have like another like a new Ginyu Force member? I I would not be surprised if we saw Android twenty one in Sparking Zero. I actually did a video on my Patreon of what my what the roster I kind of imagine being is. It's already out of date, and you know I could always change things on it, but it's it's a fun video though. Wow. Yeah, dragon. Yeah, we get hero or chrono. Tapey on here. <laughs> I wish this game had a city daytime. That's one thing I wish this game had. Because, like, noon and night might as well be the same thing for all I care. Like, we have evening as the closest. But there's no city day like there was in the other... At least Tenkaichi 1 had a city day. I, I do believe we're getting a city day in it, and I don't think it's like an immediately ruined version in Sparking Zero, which I'm excited for. <laughs> like, we need like a city day un, unwrecked version. Like, I could totally see a Wrath of the Dragon DLC, like, earlier than some other things, or Fusion Reborn. Jesus, Tapion, calm down. Oh, he tell oh. He did the right timing for that. If you if you unleash your smash right when your character is flashing, you can like snap right to them. I don't have enough for a. I use explosive wave, you fuck. Kicking my ass. Actually, no, it's running that back. Him with my final shine. That's stupid. I mean, I'm fine with the brown hair. It's Super Saiyan 4, whatever. <laughs> like, they already have red hair. That's already different.
Oh, you fucker. Get to him. You went right past him, you... Yeah, well... I don't think people really get Vegeta. Well, how did that... You fucker. Oh, did be fucking... Ah, oh, that's stupid. Am I dead? Might as well be, though. Get the fuck away. Jeez, how do I do that? Ugh. You two would never let this wound heal, will it? What? Oh, Vegeta. Well, I don't think people really understand Vegeta. <laughs> because? They're like, oh, you, you know, he, he's a reason... Uh, you know, boo and sells so, like yeah. He's always been a villain. <laughs> he never like decided to be like, oh, I'm gonna be a good guy, right? He's always been the his story in Dragon Ball, like the original manga, was that he was always the villain. He people tolerated him, right after the Frieza saga. But he was still like he coexisted, but he was still like a evil character, right? He never actively helped out the heroes. He did his, like, his own shit. And he still wants to beat Goku. And then when they finally got to the, the Kid Buu battle, he realized, like, hey, you know, with, with the the Majin fight and, and stuff and beforehand and all this, like, yeah, okay, I acknowledge you are better than me. And that, that was his character arc. It was, like, finally coming to terms of his of his ego. And then... Super came along and just kind of like fucked it, fucked it all up. Super or GT a little bit, but like they they still kind of went with him being like more of like you know dad role and eventually going back into it. And then they just force fed him Super Saiyan four. But I just I just think a lot of people don't understand like the original intent of Vegeta, and they just kind of see him at like the base value. Which is like, you know, I'm the ultimate rival kind of guy. When Dragon Ball is, it, it's it's more it's more deep than that, you know. Captain Ginyu, I ho hope they give him his like classic body swap back and not the one in this game where it's like a random character, because he's way more fun if you can just change with the other player. <laughs> like give. People are reason to play as, like, weirder characters. Like, it's different in fighters when you have, like, the entire Ginyu Force, like, in his moveset. But, like, in these games, he's he's his own character. Toriyama used Vegeta as a punchline so many times where I kind of wash away with Toei's interpretation in these dubs. I mean, yeah. Because, like, yeah, his whole thing was, you know, like, Vegeta. You know, Cell Saga. He kept getting his ass hit because he was being an asshole. <laughs> and the the and then he was doing being more of an asshole in the Majin saga, and that's how he died. <laughs> and then I think he once he realized that, like, hey, his ego cost him his life again, and the fact that he saw Goku was stronger than him, he's like, okay, I finally get it. Like again, he he was he's supposed to be a bad guy. <laughs> Not this like you know, edgy anti hero character. Like no, he he is a bad guy. I could give you one shot. I mean, yeah, like that's the fun thing in like in the Budokai games, right? 
you let your opponent like kick your ass or use like the heart virus disease and then you swap. But again, like that's why you play as like this character because otherwise, like, why do I want to play as Ginyu aside from doing like a big like team match or if I'm doing a like a story thing? So at least like Birder is fast <laughs> and Guldo runs funny. Oh, like the manga. I mean, that'd be like a funny like what if thing, right? Hey, maybe maybe you can play as the frog in one of these games. Soul Junior is pretty fun too. He's another like fast character. Jero's Jero's good because he can absorb energy. Like, this is why I love like gimmicky characters more though, is because they give you more of a reason, more of a unique play style with them. Than just like, oh, you know, Buhan's good because, you know, he punch and good stats or whatever. The frog. Like, we even got Spopovich. Games, games never include Spopovich. Yeah, a, a Gideon one-shot would be pretty fun. I hate how they neutered Bardock. Yeah. Hate the new Bardock. You are the number one speech of Vegeta. Seeing where Goku says he isn't strong enough. Well, like, Goku and Vegeta both, like, they played rock, paper, scissors to challenge Kid Buu. I mean, the main thing really was just to stall time, right? So I think they both realized that they probably couldn't beat Kid Buu on their own. This turtles. The Toriyama subversion. Against Demon King Piccolo. I love Demon King Piccolo. I think he should be in the the game. Sparking. Also, I I really enjoy Turtles too. I think it's because I like Tree of Might, and his like thing with the fruit is really interesting. Like he's original Goku Black. I'm sure it'd be easy for them to make him in the game. Like I think cool if we got tambourine and like. Drum. Uh, the 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 key key ring. Ooh, hit me! That was blocking high. A fucking eye laser, you fucker. How much? How much do I need for the uh, two? Okay. Yeah, and these are like permanent buffs too. I'm pretty sure. He'll drive. No, you fucker. Fuck. Got drum. Like this act, like it's so fun. He just summons drum.
Yeah, so um, th th this game... This game has uh, General Blue. And that is it. For the Red Ribbon Army. Well, I guess you have Tau, technically, I guess. Meteor burst. I just, I'm di whatever. Fuck it. Yeah. I think it'd be cool if we got like General Metallic and the um, just like Ninja Muramase or something like that in this game. Commander Red. <laughs> or is it black? But yeah, th th this game just has blue and and Tau. For the Red Ribbon Army arc. Right, actually, no, technically, I technically it has Android 8. <laughs> if you want to count that too. And like Arale for like just just characters for that in in general. But yeah, Red Ribbon Army specifically is just blue. Yeah, I, I can show the roster after after this real quick if you wanna. Take a look at that. Get the hell off me, punk. Oh, I was blasting him. So anyway, start blasting. How do you do... Piece of crap. I can't move. Shield driver. I believe I can believe. You blast. I don't think so. Oh, I all these victories I'm just pulling out of my butt. No, Supersonic Warriors. Now that's that's a fun game. Yeah. So uh, th th this is the roster. So they're they're laid out in rough order, and like all the characters have like, well, not you know some of the characters have transformations like built in. This is every character. Like, like I have everything un unlocked. But yeah, you got General Blue. You even got like the uh, rep from the um, Fortune Teller Baba uh, Baba arc, the Peel Off arc. King Piccolo, Red Ribbon Army, more Red Ribbon Army, even like tournament stuff, another Baba arc character, some Tenkaichi arc. Fun fact with Devil Man is that his Devil Might Beam works a lot stronger on evil characters. Like if he uses Devil Might Beam against uh, Janemba, which is a being of pure evil does a ton of damage. But if you do it against Goku, it does, like, no damage, I think. Which is kind of neat. Okay. 
We've got a filler character. Really shaped Saiyajin from that one filler episode. Which one? <laughs> I mean, we have Bardock and Basha. It would have been cool, though, if they they gave um, early Goku the false Super Saiyan. Or if they gave Goku mid, like, a um, an ability to like, turn to, like, the false Super Saiyan. Like, like a Kaioken kind of thing. That would have been really cool. One can only hope. Any any recommendations for a matchup from the chat? Well, honestly, I I kind of wish we got Zarbon in uh, Fighter Z. It's another character I wish we got. I think it could have been kind of interesting. I think Metacooler could have been interesting in Fighter Z also. Like having be like a swarm of Metacoolers. Like Metacooler design is really sick. I mean, talk about like palette swaps. I know this is just basically like a silver palette swap, but it, man, it looks cool. And I like like the concept behind it, right? Of him being this like infinite army of like generated Metacoolers from a big old metal ball. Wasn't the Bark special? Kind canon, uh, I'm sorry, Popo in Korean. Um, yeah, so that was in the Dragon Ball, like Saiyan saga. There's like a training arc, I believe. That's that's filler. Um, Bardock is basically canon. I think it was like retroactively made canon. I I believe I, I could be wrong about that. But yeah, the um the one where they they go into like the room of spirit and time to train. Yeah, that 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 one's a filler. I think the, I think the only filler character in this game is Pycon, which he was from the movie Fusion Reborn. So, other than that, I don't think there's any like anime filler characters. Like there is the other world tournament. Um, like story thing in this, but they don't have the stage in the game, which is really dumb. Like the the other world tournament, like tournament thing, like that you can do that in the game. But yeah, for some reason they didn't put in the actual stage in the game, which is silly. Like why even include it then? But can you imagine though if they added um filler characters like that, like grunts and stuff? Also, I'm playing this on like a 4K monitor, but man, these like small square images, these like PNGs, are really low res. You can't really tell when looking at like a smaller like TV, like a CRT. I mean, like, but that th that that's its own series, though. I'm telling you, like, the movies are filler too. I mean, they're. I want to say filler. I don't think filler is the right word. It it's just non-canon. Is the the more proper term? I I would say. This filler is, you know, like trying to fill in like the empty space, whereas like a new series is like, you know, it, it, it's its own thing. Also, I didn't realize I did a flamboyant matchup till just now. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just was talking about Zarbon and General Blue earlier, so I was like, all right. But he charges quickly. Much faster than Turles. I'll shoot you. GT is a Project M of Dragon Ball. Uh, I wouldn't go that. I, I wouldn't say that. That that's that's too kind. God, fucker, get up, Zarbon! I'm mashing like a madman. Oh, that was that was weak. I assume it looks a lot cooler up close or in the sky. Oh God, what is this? Did you just make a shish kebab out of me? Bloody dance. All legs. All right. Yeah, Project M was really good though. It it was forgotten about because Nintendo like told him to like shut it down. Oh, it's a grab. Like GT is like I think uh, like it's aesthetically really neat. A lot of good concepts, but execution, uh, there's a lot to be desired. Like, I think Zarbon Fighters could have been really interesting as a character that, like, could, like, kind of like Roshi, where Roshi, like, buffs up to do stuff if you, like, could have, like, transform states, and it kind of changed your moveset a bit from, like, a speed, like, a power version, and maybe even have Dodoria somewhere in there, too, potentially. Like Frieza soldiers. Oh, Dan, 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 Coco, da, 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 da. Yeah, I mean, that's really good. And I really love the aesthetic too, where they use a lot more um, like wide characters and and purple and red in the in the color scheme. And designs are great too. Like they really try to do like kind of unique designs. I'm mean, seventeen. I mean, you know, not all of them were not all of them were home runs. Like, I really wish this added more GT characters, like Legic and General Rildo and more Shadow Dragons. Like, I wish Ice was kind of his own character. But they did a lot, a lot of cool stuff. It's just, I think, like, the narrative, like, beat by beat was a little weak. Um, you know, GT Trunks, I think we could GT Trunks would have been a lot of fun also. Like, we, we, we got, uh, you know, GT Goku... Um, I, I wish we got GT Vegeta also. We would get that in Infinite World. Um, we did get Oob, and, uh, which, which includes Majub and, uh, and Pan. So we got a good amount of GT stuff in the game, rough, roughly speaking. I think, I, I think 17's alternate costume is the, um, like, alternate 17 from GT. And, um, I kind of mentioned earlier, like, Nova Shinron, his alternate costume is blue, so it's like Ice Shinron. But I think GT had a lot more heart into it. I mean, yeah, it was such a cash grab, but it did feel like it had more heart towards Dragon Ball and the lore than, like, Super does. Where Super feels way more of a, a nostalgia cash grab act. And I, I didn't hate Super either. Like, I, I watched Super, and I thought it was, like, kind of whatever. But it was just mostly just, you know, senseless fighting <laughs> for the sake of fighting. No para para bros. See? This is what I'm talking about. They, there's a lot of fun characters. Like, I would have loved General Rildo and, like, the Mecha Rildo in this game. I think if I could add, add like, any other characters... Like, in many ways, the baby arc was, like, a a more singular, fleshed-out version of, like, the Cell arc. It wasn't as good, but, like, it, I think the concepts were more in line with each other. And the whole thing with, like, the tuffles and stuff and, like, baby body jumping, like, it's really cool. 17R kind of felt like filler. <laughs> 
But the Shadow Dragons was really cool, too. I do wish they had made better use of the Shadow Dragons. But, again, like, on paper, it's, like, it's really badass. With, like, the wishes and coming, like, it's it's the perfect wrap-up for, for a Dragon Ball story. Is them actually having to fight, like, the Dragon Balls and having a dragon as the villain. Right? And even the thing with, like, the baby arc, like, they, they fail in the end, right? Like, they don't actually save the Earth because baby, like, makes another wish on and, like, moves things around, like, yada, yada, yada. Felt like an extended goodbye. Super is kind of pointless overall. Yeah, the GT is like, hey, let's keep it going. Let's see what we can do. We don't have Toriyama for most of it, so let's try and like do our own thing. And like you can tell, like they were essentially learning on the spot. Whereas Super was like, hey, remember this? Remember these characters? Which, granted, it's cool to see like them give more more things to do for like you know like Tien and Krillin and Roshi and stuff. Like, Ro Roshi should have had the Mafuba in this game. I mean, let's be real. Um, but it, it, it was a case of, like, power scaling was, like, way too over the place. And it was just nothing but fighting. <laughs> right? Like, you need a reason behind it. Like, the Torment of Power wasn't serious to, like, the very end. And it, it's really... And overall, it is a very serious... Um, plot line yeah him yeah this metal monster slipping into people like scary shit taking control of like the whole human race i mean that's 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 wild like that's like that's that's a definitely like a a plot we haven't seen before i mean you know cell and do certainly wasn't doing that it wasn't like free it wasn't like frieza was colonizing the earth aside from sending a few saiyans over just to like check it out Oh yeah, Great Sandman's like in here too. I feel like Great Sandman probably should have been his own character slot. I mean, yeah, power scaling. I like the power scaling community. Is like it, it's just sugar, right? I it's really stupid, and kind of cringy. But like, it, it's just funny hearing people talk about that kind of stuff. And I don't blame them. I mean, sometimes it's fun to just have, like, big meatheads. And that's, like, a big thing of why people like Dragon Ball. That's why the, uh, you know, Z portion is so popular. Because it is a lot of just meatheads, basically. Now, the series has more depth than that. Like, as, as, as a manga series. And that's why it's lasted. But, yeah, you know, it's... I completely understand why people like certain aspects of it. But I think there is a reason why people kind of will still look at Z. Uh, you know, like, there's definitely a quality line between Z and Super. Like, people talk more about Super in line with, like, GT than they do with Z. You know what I mean? You're crazy what's up. Crazy what's up. Uh, I like... I think I achieved two Evolution Z customization as best of all DBZ games. Yeah, I really hope they add a lot of customization in the next game. Or at the very least, make sure each character feels like pretty different from each other, especially if they're going to have so many characters. Like, I feel like it's going to end up being, you know, like, hey, these are like the speed and power characters and gimmicky stuff or whatnot. But that said, I do hope they have customization like in the Tenkaichi games. And even like the Budokai games. I think like the Budokai games really nail it with customization with like attacks and transformations and which of course not gonna be like that because it's two different series. But like how the um 
Rage and Blast games, you can, like, change the movesets and stuff, right? Get back here. Oh, he didn't, he did, he didn't get back here. Yeah, like, I didn't really do much customization in ways of, of this game. But. I love that that's, like, it's in the game. And that just shows, like, how much, you know, depth this, this series has. And in more, more so in, like, modern times, because, again, modern times, there's a lot more you can do. Galactic Buster! <laughs> I just like, doot, doot, dead. Yeah, GT, or uh, not GT, uh, T uh, BT3 had a ton of, of modes in the game, too. Like, it's wild. And if we, like, exit out here, you know, of course, we have, like, normal comm, and we have team battles, DP battles, um, Evolution Z for customization, ultimate training, data. So, like, you can look at, like, characters and stuff and look at costumes. The, the story mode, the ultimate battle in which if you have like save files from BT1 and 2, you get more on, on this version of the game with the with the disc fusion, uh, which of course wasn't in the Wii version because the Wii version had online play instead. I mean, people dig like more like streams like this. I wouldn't mind doing like BT2 stream or something like the story mode. Yeah, disc fusion, like that's wild. I mean the like Budokai games had a thing where if you had like the save file of the previous game, you would get like extra Zenny and maybe like a character unlock. And, you know, and again, this is even like keep in mind like all the customization in, in the game. All the things you can buy. Like I love Tenkaichi 1. We had to buy like the Potaros and like find the right ones that mix that fuse together to make the uh, to un to unlock the character. I thought that was a really fun character unlock method. Yeah, and you can like change like the you know upgrade the stats of characters and yeah, and you can get like the the one hundred thing in this game too. Like it's it's wild. Like there's a reason why a lot of people consider this. One of, if not the best, Dragon Ball game. It was up there with like Budokai Three and, uh, you know, Fighters. At at this point, some people may even say like Xenoverse Two. But I I'm really hoping Sparking Zero goes all the way. It I hope it's not a mess. I hope it it is like perfect. I hope it takes all the stuff from like Xenoverse Two and this game and Kakarot and all these games and just makes it like the best Dragon Ball game ever. Mark them with a credit debit card. <laughs> hey, look, if they're adding so many characters in the game, why not? I mean, Xenoverse has been doing it for years and years, and if this means we can get, like, a giant roster, because I, there's no way they can do it all in one base game, like, if we're going to be honest. Like, there's going to be... It's either we, we don't get them or we do. And you, and you know what? If you don't want it, you don't have to buy it. That's that's the beauty of it. <laughs> Ultimate Tenkaichi. Yeah, I, I don't think we'll get that. But I hope we get more in in the in the ways of like moveset customization at at the very least. I'm curious on how the story mode is gonna be. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if it's if it's something like like this game right where you have like so I love the they use like the manga art like the what if sagas like I love it I hope they have these. But yeah, there's not much in this game. I I think was it BT two? I think had like a Gogeta versus Vegeta one. What if Sagas went hard on PS two and Naruto? Oh yeah, the Naruto games are sick too. Like uh, Ultimate Ninja three. I love Ultimate Ninja three. 
Four is pretty good too. I don't like how this did the world tournament, so that's another kind of um, criticism of this game where you, you can only do like certain world tournaments at certain times. And I feel like they don't do enough to like differentiate the tournaments either. Like yeah, you got like the free ones, but if you want to lock stuff, you have to do the like the timed ones. Like I hope we get like the big tournament stage. I hope we get the other world tournament stage. Stuff like that. The like, Ultimate Ninja One was was fun, except some training mode missions were a big pain in the ass, and the audio is like it's through a potato. Yeah, online tournaments. Like, that sounds really fun. I I'm a big fan of Ultimate Ninja 3. That is like the BT... Like, Ultimate Ninja 3 is like the Budokai 3 for me. For Naruto. The potato audio. Slug. It has to be giant slug fighting Cyberman. See, this is stuff you get to do in, in BT3. This is the fun stuff that if there is a will, there is a way. Yeah, what will you do, Cyberman? Clearly, I'm too strong for you. He is big. Get back here. I missed because he's so tiny. What was that gentle breeze? Oh, this wave. Ha! You dummy. Acid. That that was lightning. How? How can you even do that in this game? He's so tiny. I have to go back and listen to the uh, Ultimate Ninja 1 o OSC. Darkness Blaster. Do you have a really good OSC for Naruto game? A uh, Clash of Ninja Two. Clash of Ninja Two. That on the GameCube. That game really slapped. I really enjoyed that one. I don't have anything actually three master and other title confuse me just as much as Master not having retro formats. Remaster. Yeah, it's weird that they did the Budokai games, but a lot of people were expecting Tenkaichi and they just never did them. I guess we had the Raging Blast games. But I'm the world's strongest. Um we we was really cool. Oh yeah, he's he's a robot. I can't charge. Um, but yeah, we're getting Sparking Zero, which again, ideally, this will be the best Dragon Ball game.
I think his super move is like Planet Burst or something like that. Uh, I'm a robot. It won't work against me, buddy. I'm just a brain in a jar. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, they like the Wii ones. There is a mod of um, Clash of Ninja 4, like the Japanese. That was only released in Japan. There is an English patch for it. So if you're interested in that, definitely check that out. I need to get out of the water. You charge slower in the water. Yeah, Geki Gekito Tyson. Oh, that red aura. So cool. Planet Geyser. Ooh. Powerful. Now he is the world's strongest. I think I, I have one of the Revolution games on the Wii. I don't know which one I have. Might be might be three. Oh, you want to see the coolest special in the game, though? A Gekito special. Yeah, you can change. Actually, I showed it off earlier. Um, I had Ultimate Gohan with the like Super Saiyan aura against the uh, Majub with the pink aura. I feel like we will get honestly the only thing I wish that this game added or that um Sparking Zero add as is split screen multiplayer cuz apparently they can but it like the bigger like system developers won't let them apparently cuz they want to sell consoles like it's stupid like like that, that that's been a whole thing so I hope either they find a way to put it in the game or like patch it in or something cuz that would be terrible Android 13 is really cool. Like in this game. What color would your aura be? Oh, I don't know. Green, maybe. Red would be pretty dope, though. Yeah, like a big thing for this game is to play like local multiplayer. If you can't do that, then like, what the what's the bloody point? What the hell was that? I've never seen that move. Hey, fucker. You... Who got you first? SS Deadly Bomber. That thing tracks like no other. That's the game he wants to play. Turn around, you Android, you dummy Android 13. Yeah, no, it's really stupid. Like they they've they've they put out a message basically saying like they they could, but they're not allowed to, which is utterly ridiculous. Oh, come on, you fucker. That says, come on. Yeah, check this out. Coolest thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Punch him in the dick. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Ooh, Batista bomb. Uh, 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 oh, baby. Love that move. Yeah, people play next to each other. It's stupid. It's a thing that, like, Sony and Microsoft 
want to do so people buy consoles. Again, I hope they manage to like patch it in because it's utterly ridiculous. I love the rush attacks. Like, there's so many cool rush moves, like we saw with uh, you know thirteen and turtles with his. I think his his like meteor burst. I think I believe is called and. Uh, Future Gohan is a cool one. Ultimate Gohan is a cool one. Like the Gokus you usually have like really cool rush attacks. Yeah, no, it's like you can look it up. It's it's ridiculous. It's a legit thing. Oh, by the way, I pitched the joust of the Jessies on Discord, and a lot of folks like the idea, and Jesse and Jess are both very bored on it. Hey, that, that'd be fun. I, I'm i actually working on a pit, uh, show pitch of my own, which I'm hoping to pitch uh, probably next week, because I wanted to wait till everyone got back from GDC. I have, like, a little slightly overpaged um, document, or just a little short essay, I guess. I've been talking to Omar about it. He, he seems down for it. Just need to get the right pitch and logistics and stuff. But that that that's I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for that. But I'm down for a battle of the Jessies. Uh, in a way, games start to feel a little bare when they lack local play. Yeah, like again, it's stupid. Like if if people expect there to be local play, add local play. It really because like, people are gonna play online regardless. Like if they want to, right? It's ridiculous. Mine did not have right pitching logistics at all. Yeah, like I'm, I'm working on a pitch. It's gonna be like an animated show, um. So it's gonna be like you know a lot of work like on my end, because it's gonna be something like I'm like fully producing basically. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. I didn't want to use that crime any. Turn around. Crap. Like, are you thinking of this to be like a, um, like a monthly thing or... Like a once in a while kind of thing. I don't know what your thoughts on on it was, on what the other Jesses have talked about. Yeah, you thought. What do I have? Sleep, false screen. You ever played Duels of the Roses? Um, I have... Is that the GameCube one? I don't know how much free time you guys have, lol. <laughs> well, it depends on the time. It depends what we're doing. Things are always getting shifted around. You know, Yossi Tries might be coming back. I don't know if I'm going to be working on, like, Backdrop, like, entirely forever. I, I don't know. Well, one's on PS2, one's on GameCube. There's Duel of Roses, and I think False—I think False Bound Kingdom was GameCube. I believe Duel of Roses was PS2. I'm dead. God, sleep sucks. <laughs> I think it heals you, but it's so slow. Um, I haven't, honestly, I barely played False Bound Kingdom, that was like 20 years ago. Um, I think some people like Duelist of the Roses, and not so much False Bound Kingdom, I believe that's, like, the common thing. Eventually, I'm sure I'll get around to playing it on stream. Um, it's not in my current, uh, top itinerary for Yu-Gi-Oh! games. Bi weekly sounds doable, plus Galena and Hop seem very friendly and cooperative. I'm guessing it did. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so are we just like playing games? Is that, is that basically it? It's like it's like a stream thing. I'll just play like a cooperative game kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, the least you can do do is like try it out and see if you like it or not, and you know, if not, whatever. If if you do, great. Let's do a GT fight. Like like this week, just because it's like just because it's been like such a crazy month and whatnot, like with everyone going around all over the place. Like this week, I've had like nothing to do, but I'm sure like in next month things are gonna go back to like relatively normal. Yeah, you know, I'm trying not to edit like backdrop stuff, but um, things like uh like the GDC still needs to be edited, and whatnot. And there's no immediate rush on like Adventures Nigh, <laughs> which is which I'm sure will be nice for the editors on those. I'm stronger than I was before. Oh, he outsmarted me. Fun fact, the, I believe the original time he used the 10 times Kamehameha against Baby was actually blue. I don't think it was until he fought, um... Oh, crap me. I have wild no, instant transmission. I have the old... The old clothesline maneuver! Yeah, the, the GBA ones were really fun. Oh, shnikes. Yo! Oh, Lucas, I didn't even read that original. What's up? Dragon Fist! Fuck! A long time no see. The Legacy Goku games? Oh, yeah, those were really good. Like, Well, the first one sucked, but... Boo's Fury. Hit him! Get him! Yeah! Ha! <laughs> Fucker. Yeah, Legacy Goku 2 and Boo's Fury. Super tight. Um, let's see. Oh, Supersonic Warriors was also really good on, on Game Boy Advance. That one was really fun. Uh... I feel like there might have been like another one. I feel like a lot there's a lot of bad ones too, a lot of stinkers like Taiketsu and uh Legacy Goku One and I think some other ones I'm thinking of were like Game Boy color games. Well GT I mean again it's it's good on paper. I like the designs, I like the aesthetic. It's just like the episodes were a bit lacking in quality. That's all. But it, it does deserve credit where credit's due. For expanding the series.
Yo, know, Lucas, I'm pretty sure I still have, like, matches we did, like, 10 years ago on, like, my original memory card. Because, you, you, you know, you can save matches on this. <laughs> Hiroshi against Yajirobi. at Kame House. I mean, GT is about as, as canon as Super is, really. <laughs> Beat before the meat, that's what I always say. Get out of my house! Fucker. Oh yeah, I forgot, they're like Dragon Ball characters. They like, slowly descend. Which is a cool little thing. Not his. I saw his under undies. I'm dead. I mean, haha, -ha, surprise. I mean, I think it'd be cool if they like redid like GT as you know, as in like take what they're trying to do and just kind of you know, give it a fresh coat of paint, like smooth out the edges. Because people love, like, again, people love stuff like Baby Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4 and the Shadow Dragons. But it's just, like, all the other stuff. <laughs> I'm surprised I even got that far. Thick kick. Because I think it works, because the way I, I look at, like, SS4 is, no, you don't. You don't eat that shit. You don't, you don't eat beans in the water, my dude. Fine, fuck it. Um, that, yeah, come right to me, you motherfucker. What was I saying? Yeah, so the way I see Super Saiyan 4 being is, like, Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue. Completely ignored. Like, they use God Key, basically, right? Oh, you fucker. Oh, shit, now he's trying. Now he's trying! He was, he was just faking before! He was faking before! <laughs> no! So, like... You can have a thing where, like, the, the crew loses the ability to use God Key. Or, at the very least, Super Saiyan 4 uses a different kind of key, right? Like, use, like, the normal key, whereas God Key doesn't work like that. Because, technically speaking, Super is before GT. What, what am I... Do I got Pump Up False Courage? I didn't really need that. Give you the ultimate turtle fist, bitch. Yeah, gave, gave him a Randy Savage elbow drop. Yeah, like, and I've been saying this on like loop tonight, basically. Like, concept conceptually wise, GT knocked out of the park. Oh yeah, I have to. Oh, that's crossplay because I have a. I don't know what yeah, but I have a PS Five. Definitely getting it for that. Whenever it comes out, whether it's this year or next year. <laughs> Might be a next year thing, but I feel like at the earliest it would be like this fall or winter. The fact that they're like still slowly drip feeding us stuff for the game. And it's been in production for a long time too. So, I mean, who knows? But then they could also be like, oh, it's coming out in like August. I 
I, I just think like the problem with with Super Saiyan Blue and then Super Saiyan Four is just power creep, right? Because I feel like these two series exist in their own like you know bubble. Like there's Z, and then it had two like split timelines basically. Because like what what can SS Four do that Blue can't do basically? You know, um, and they're already doing like the kind of because uh, the, the normal Super Saiyan God is whole thing is that. At least in the super mangas that they use God because it doesn't use as much key as Blue does. You could now you could extend that to Super Saiyan Four, where Super Saiyan Four may be harder to activate potentially. I mean, God was hard to activate in the first place, but it could also do a thing where it's like, you know, they need to conserve their God key. But then it's then it makes the the God stuff just inherently better and eh. Since Santa can see Super GT. Probably not. I mean, the next series is Daima, and who knows what Daima's going to be like. I mean, rest in peace, Toriyama. You're supposed, I mean, Toriyama's supposed to have, like, a big big hand in that. I think all the games are all... Uh... I mean, that's a good chunk of games. You know, Super, Burst Limit, Ultimate, or Ultimate is, you know, its own thing. Uh, Raging Blast 2. Raging Blast 2 is really good. I just wish the story mode was better in that, but that did that did finally bring back ha Hachiok though. Because I, I think, like, generally speaking, like, Blue has definitely out, out past, like, four. <laughs> I mean, especially for, like, and let alone, I didn't even mention Ultra Instinct. I mean, shit. I mean, Ultra Instinct and, like, Perfected Ultra Instinct and even, like, UI Sign alone. Not even considering like ultra ego. Does this guy have like a auto auto um energy absorption thing? I mean, if you want to play, like, the go to Dragon Ball games, I would say it's, like, Budokai 3, uh, Infinite World, um, Tenkaichi 3, Tenkaichi 2, probably for the story, um, Fighters. Some people like Xenoverse 2, some people like Kakarot. I'm not a big fan of Kakarot, personally. But it also depends on what you're looking for a Dragon Ball game. Yeah, yeah, Trunks flipped the timelines hard. He created a whole multiverse that Leonardo DiCaprio looking fuck. Did he just levitate me? Not in my house. So I like in Raging Blast when you hit like Jiro, his hat falls off. Yeah, I mean, again, it depends what where you're looking out of a Dragon Ball game. Like, if you want like a of a more pure fighting game experience, you might really like Super Dragon Ball Z and Fighters. If you want more dumb anime bullshit, yeah, you might like Budokai Three and uh, Tenkaichi Three. If you want more like pure story stuff, you probably would like uh, Kakarot. That's more like single player, like whole story thing. I like how Jiro flies. He flies with like his arms back behind him. Yeah, like and, like fighters was. I was not paying attention. Oh no, he's fusing with. What the hell is this? He's doing the e Honda. Um, like fighters were like more for like the competitive scene. This motherfucker. 
I didn't care for Kakarot. I found like the combat to be incredibly boring. Graphic wise and like world like it was really cool. But I do like how much support they've been giving Kakarot, though. Like, it's surprising to me. No, fucker. At least I gained some health back, though. From the fucking life drain shit. H how do you... Oh, I was just I'm I'm just like doo 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 motherfucker get away. Ah. I'm surprised that you weren't the biggest fan of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Try to love it. Yeah, no, I I broke like I got it on release and I I just broke the gameplay like right away. Just I found like the same repetitive loop you could basically do, like just go in and out, in and out, and it just it became just like a slog for me. Especially after like all the grinding. Yeah, I don't. I just. I did not vibe with it, which is a shame, because I. I think the deal, all the DLC stuff, I've been like really cool looking. I. But yeah, like like you said, I found the gameplay just utterly repetitive. Though it does feel like a game that didn't really get its footing until the DLC, when there's just more content. But I think the core of the issue is the gameplay. Oh yeah, I mean the game is essentially just Marvel Marvel versus Capcom. And like it, it had like the hypeness, like the fun of that game with the hypeness of Dragon Ball. And like the graphics were like amazing too. It while it didn't look like the anime, it looked anime like, which made people think it looked like the anime. I don't know. I feel like the whole point of Kakarot was supposed to be like his journey and thing, and I don't know if it'd be, it would have been that as interesting if it was just like a random story. But 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 maybe. I mean, maybe, maybe it could have been. I mean, who's to say, really? I mean, we have similar like alternate story things, like with the Xenoverse games, right? It's about like future trunks and like time traveling and stuff. Yeah, I, again, like uh, a lot of people clearly like it. I just wouldn't say I am one of those people. To a uh, Guinea Force grudge match. Hey, if 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 it's your first time playing Dragon Ball, I mean, you probably like it because I mean, if you're like a kid, I guess. Because <laughs> like my first experience, like with like the whole story, you know, to a degree, was like Budokai One, and even that terrible to get into the game. <laughs> Space soda. I love how fast he is. You know, technically Guldo can freeze time, so Guldo's faster. I am not slower than Guldo. I love his charging animation. Uh, so good. Yeah, if you're describing Dragon Ball Z for a time, yeah, it's probably a good way to like learn the the story without having to watch the whole thing. Oh, what? I missed a space mock.
Shit. Hey, how do you like it, Jace? Oh, hey! Your twin. Ah, oh, that's that was so that was so fun. Burr is so fun. And now I get a space soda. Hell long. Yeah, I mean it, it like this thing, like it's an RPG. So it it should be long. So a lot of games end up being much better once they're playing DLC drops. Yeah, and that I mean, that's a fair argument. A lot of games kind of get more complete with the DLC. Especially when they start adding like patches and stuff. I mean, I, I think it's just cool that we have a lot of options for DBZ games. Like they're still supporting Kakarot. They're still supporting Xenoverse 2, like the game that never ends. Uh Fighter Z just got rollback and 4K supports. We're getting Sparking Zero. There's all like the Doken battles and app games and the card game, like Fusion World. Just drop for the for the super TCG. What I think an ideal Dragon Ball game would look like. I mean, hopefully Sparking Zero. <laughs> right? If they have like all the characters to recreate um you know, all the dumb anime bullshit with like, you know, fun story modes and all the levels and stuff. Because Dragon Ball is it, like it's a shonen, right? It's defined by like the teen level action. So if you let people recreate that action in a high intense way, uh, you know, with high octane energy, with variety, with deep gameplay and interesting game modes, like I don't think we need an open world thing. Like I'm fine with like having more fleshed out story mode episodes, kind of like how this does it. But but a lot of people do like Tenkaichi too. Um, you know, you're not gonna make everyone happy. Like, like, I'd rather have it tell a story in, like, exhaustive detail, which some people might have complaint with, but if you're adding all the characters, like, might as well do that. Um, but that's why I think I'm fine with the DLC, because they can really make each one feel special and unique. And I think that's another thing, is that I would want each character to feel unique than the other. You know, choose what's up. Um, you know, each character that feels doesn't feel like they're copy and paste jobs right that they don't just have like oh this one just has a random energy beam special like sparky zero looks really damn good and i really hope and I, i'm i have i have a lot of hope that it's it's going to be like you know peak dragon ball game because we've we've seen We've well, hey Sparking Zero is gonna, it's gonna be a while before it comes out. There, there's time to save up. Um, you know we've seen the legacy of the Tenkaichi games, right? Um, you know not counting Ultimate Tenkaichi, but even with like Raging Blast, like people still really enjoyed Raging Blast. If perhaps not to the same extent as like BT three, and it seems to be more widespread love for for this than Budokai three, or even like Infinite World. Or Burst Limit, for that matter. Right? Like, Burst Limit was not even, like, Raging... Like, Raging Blast level. Like, that was early PS3 game. Like, it seems like with Sparking Zero, we are going to get more destructive environments. That's, like, a big thing they're showing. And just, like, the individual animations and, like, all, like, the 4K beauty of the game. Like, it's going to look like this game, but on crack. And uh, and even though it's gonna be primarily like Z and Super stuff, I I'm pretty confident there's gonna be plenty of DLC for like movie packs and GT packs and Dragon Ball packs and what have you. I mean, I would probably get it on release. I mean, again, we don't know when it's coming out. I I would assume it's probably gonna be another year. Um. And, but from the trailers we've seen already, it looks really good, and we've barely seen anything from it yet. Now, will I get, you know, I would like to get it on a release. You know, I think time will tell. 
you know, especially as more stuff comes out. But it feels like nothing but good things is going to be coming out for the game, especially considering how long they have, they are working on this. They clearly want this to be like a big title. They seem to respect Dragon Ball, like the, like the Dragon Ball Tenkaichi games, right? Which you know, I can I can appreciate that. That's that's a good sign, right? <laughs> now, you know, I, I I typically do like to wait for reviews because there can always be the case where it comes out and it's like is buggy, it is glitchy, it is a mess, it doesn't control right, doesn't feel right. You know, we've seen this happen before. So I'm hoping that's not the case. But again, like that's something that's more of like we'll have to wait and see for like pre-release reviews and whatnot. I'm the one who will destroy you. <laughs> Ooga booga. No, not Grandpa Gohan's house. But Gogeta, badass. She it. I'm excited because I, I assume that we're going to get, like, base Gogeta in this, in uh, Sparking Zero. Yeah, I, I don't buy games that often. Like, I own, like, four games on my PS5, and I only bought three of those. And I haven't bought a game, like, this year <laughs> on PS5. Do I have a fucking... I don't. I really was hoping I'd have a... I wish I had, like, After Image and Explosive Wave. But, like, you know, I, I, I enjoy these games enough, and this game seems to be, like... And, and they're, they're definitely hyping up... Like, I'm a big fighting game person in Dragon Ball, and if they're making, like, another game that's, like, true to, to form... Why fucking hit him? Oh my god, you Majin piece of shit. Yeah, 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 they need to make um Kakarot more like GTA. <laughs> Save me. Why did I do that? Ah, yeah, I'll definitely have have to have to play when the game comes out for sure, one hundred percent. Especially if you can't play local multiplayer. <laughs> Guess I don't have a choice in that matter. All right, we we are not taking that loss. We are kicking his ass. Kid Blue is just really. Fast. Kibu is another, like, high-tier character, I'm pretty sure. Again, if you, um... If he's watched, I know he subscribed to me, but, um, the, the channel Rising Jericho... Um, he has some... Like, they're, they're kind of old videos, but he has really good, like, tutorials on characters. And even if you don't, like, play this game, I think it's fascinating just to kind of learn how this game works at a more technical level. I was use my fucking explosive wave. Yeah, I think that's why people like, like these games because like they they feel so smooth. Like I Like I think the fuck how, where did he? I no, I wanted to use the 
transmission. Uh, yeah, like the Rage Mod games like look beautiful. I just yeah, I think there there's. This motherfucker. Uh, I'm trying to trying to chat, but also I'm not pretty sure I'm gonna die, but How do you buy me, you fuck nut? But yeah, like, there's a reason why people talk about Tenkaichi 3 and not Raging Blast 2. By the way, if anyone's liking this stream, feel free to actually like it. I'm having a lot of fun time tonight on this rare uh, Dragon Ball stream. Rest in peace, Toriyama. Do you fucking... You cock... It's like the same thing why people like Budokai 3 over like Infinite World, even though Infinite World has like better characters and um, you know, more things in, in the game. <laughs> and Infinite World does not have the dumb Dragon Rush stuff. Stop spamming Mystic Combination! I really wish I had explosive wave against this dude. Yeah, I'm sure like some of it is nostalgia. But some of it's also just, you know, sometimes games have vibes, you know what I mean? Oh, fucking hell. You're going down! You're going down! Yeah! Hey, fucker! <laughs> Instant transmission, super Kamehameha. Or was it Big Bang Kamehameha? I don't know. I sent him to the next dimension. Deserves it. Oh. I just think, like, the old games have, like, a level to, like, the depth of it. And just, like, the sheer amount of stuff you can do that the new games don't really have. Now, Fighters is kind of a different example. I think Fighters will stand the test of time. But, you know, like, like the universe... It's kind of its own thing. Kakarot's kind of like its own thing. Like, I, I think Dragon Ball works best as a fighting game. Even though, like, sometimes the RPGs do work, like with Kakarot and Legacy of Goku. Yeah, I just have to, like, get in there. I, I do believe... Um, judging from like the the trailer we got, that um, raging or uh, sparking zero is like their beam clash. It looks like it might be kind of like how Budokai three did their um like ultimate moves where you have to like press X when like as like a meter is charging. That's what it looked like to me, which is nice. I don't think mashing anything works good in a fighting game. But I guess we'll see. It could be a thing where it's like customizable. I don't know. I mean, at least spinning the sticks is better than having to like mash the buttons. Like I, I'm playing with a, I have a short course that I don't, I probably can't show it off, but uh, oh maybe. Yeah, like I'm using like an Xbox One controller. I use for like PC, and these have like little like grooves in them, so it's easier to kind of like place your fingers in them. Yeah, let's play as like one of the new characters. Bobbity. Freaking Bobbity. 
Bobbity. Against Tambourine. The Penguin Village. Again, this another silly sages games decide to add. So I think it helps that like Like by by this point in like the Tenkaichi series, like this was the third game, right? On like a PS2 era. So it's not like And the while they did didn't have like a ton of time to like make the game. They could take like all the assets beforehand and just go on and work on top of that. I think that's a reason why a lot of these games work as good as they did because they 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 already had things to build off of and to improve. So I love like like making this guy a character. Like how do you make him a character? Oh, well you give him like his people as a special moves. Like that's yeah, it's fun. Got Pui Pui. And then Yakon is next. You know, it, you know, again, like you might like again, they they didn't make this game out of nowhere. <laughs> they had Tenkaichi one, which was definitely rough and very basic, and Tenkaichi two really improved. Tenkaichi really is like what this game was. It's just this just added better controls and more characters. Genie in a bottle. You used to make ads at tournaments. Yeah, like there's a lot of just fun dumb stuff you can do. Like it's hilarious that they put Bobbity in this game. Like I think it would have been really fun if they added like Kami in the game. Surprised haven't like I I'm sure if they made a Tenkaichi four like right after this, they probably would have <laughs> added characters like Yakon and Pui Pui and. Yamu, the other Spopovich dude, and Bibbity, you know? More like side characters, because like, they could take a lot of these characters and just, you know, use them as, like, a base, right? Like, Turles, you know, for example, you know, they could just take a Goku model, change some colors, add some, like, Vegeta stuff on it, Change some animations, you know, add, add a stream, like, beam, bam, boom, you're done. Obviously, it takes, you know, a lot more work than I just, how I just described it, but... You know, goes to show how, like, you, they can fill out a character when it's, like, very simpler things compared to, like, modern stuff where it's, like, way more textures and way more animations and stuff. Like, they, like, they can reuse stuff, right? But it, it's it's more difficult and has what you have to do way more testing now. Where's the Majin Janjo saga? Soon. Soon. Might be on my Patreon. You don't know. Might be on there. Oh, yeah. Well, like, the Japanese version of this game had, like, the actual, like, OST. Which, it's terrible that you can't switch between the two in this. Cause I will, cause I, I said like early on, but um, but one of my main gripes about this game is the soundtrack. I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I really hope the soundtrack is like a banger. Like that is a very important thing I think for Dragon Ball games, and I think that's the reason why people like like Budokai Three a lot, and uh, I think Aichi Two is because of the soundtrack. Now, of course, there was the issue of uh, a plagiarism with the uh, the Budokai soundtracks, but uh, you know I, I, they're still good. They're still great. We'll do Ice Shinron. I know they were fire. <laughs> they were so good. It's, it's a shame that they couldn't keep them. 
because like they can never release BT three the same again. Like that's the only reason why I would I, I don't think I could play the remaster. Like I have to play the original version because that soundtrack means so much to the game. We got me. Ooh, nice combo attack. Yeah, like I'm, I'm they just rather avoid like all the legal issues. This, why do they feel like they always have like way more key than I do? I can't even dodge that. I mean, these AIs are supposed to be tough. You're going down, ice. Rice, more like rice Shinran, am I right? Oh, oh, horse shot a Shinron. <laughs> that's that's the comment of the night. Horse shot a Shinron. <laughs> Yeah, because like I don't know how like modding scenes on like PS3, 360 era stuff is, but if someone would take like the remaster like on an on a on a ROM or whatever and add in like the old music, ah, wow, perfect. Oh, let's see here. Maybe we'll give Jay some love. So, like, I always thought it would be really fun if the Budokai games added, like, the Ginyu Force. That's why I was kind of disappointed with Infinite World. Like, it was cool that they added some, like, GT stuff and, like, Janemba and whatnot. But, like, they could have gave us, like, give us back Zarbon to Doria. Like, Budokai 3 was supposed to have Kui in it also. You could even add, like, the rest of the Ginyu Force. Oh, yeah, there's that, there's that uh, Tenkaichi 4 ROM. It's, like, kind of wild. Yeah, let's kick Deborah's ass. <laughs> yeah. No, all the Budokai games, like, it was all just Ginyu and Raccoon. When they first showed some pictures of Infinite World, I, re I thought they were adding them in the game. Like, just looking at, like, a small, like, still of, like, a character select screen. But I was mistaken. Like that that that's the biggest gripe I would have with the with those games. Is that they do kind of you know, they like the big roster that these games have. Although you do get more quality in like the individuals, though, I would I would argue. But even like Budokai 3 definitely feels Tiny. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, he was he was getting back in there for a second. Yeah, showing all the characters, like especially in BT three, crush a ball. Like, B Budokai 2 really... I mean, B BT3 
kind of added a little more like funkier characters. Like BT two was like the real like, hey, this is like a huge update kind of thing. Purple Comet. Now, this is a different one than Bird than Birders, one which I really like. Like they could have just given the same special, but they didn't. And I, I really dig that. Yeah, future yeah, future Gohan and yeah. Like it's really cool. Like I do want to replay Tenkaichi 2 just for like the story and stuff. Um so last my that the first time I played it, I I I bought it on the Wii, like when it came out. <laughs> and now I actually have it on the the PS2. So, like I I'm, like I have this on PS2 as well. I'm just playing this on emulator because it's more convenient for streaming purposes. Uh, but, but both games are great. Again, this is essentially like BT2, but bigger roster. Um, and they, they make the gameplay smoother, basically. It's better gameplay. Uh, they don't really worry about like the lock-on system, which, which was unique, but it was, you know, it's eh, whatever. Um, you know, they just add a little more gameplay-specific mechanics and stuff. Goat PS2 game. I mean, there's a lot of good PS2 games. I mean, BT3 is definitely up there. Um, I would say in theory Shadow of the Colossus, but that game had horrible frame rate issues that that had to wait till like PS3 for it to get fixed. Um, Kingdom Hearts 2. It's really good. Okami was really fun. I have to look at like, my sack of PS2 games over there, but... I mean, there's a lot of fun ones. I, I had a lot of fun with Mortal Kombat Armageddon. He sniped me down. Unfortunately, you gotta die. Klonoa 2 is really good. Klonoa 2 Lunate's uh, Veil. Uh, Naruto Clash Ninja 3, that game's really good. Speaking of these dorks, though, Go Tanks. How I need to play with Go Tanks uh, against uh, Nappa, sure. <laughs> Uh, 
I haven't played any Ape Escape games. I mean, I should, though. I, I really... Like, I've listened to the music. The music sounds really cool. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts is really fun. I, re I recently played through uh, KH1 on, the like, the Proud difficulty, which, like, the hardest difficulty. First time doing that. I, I like to play replay through KH2 because it's been a while. I should have done that. Oh, I guess I'm hit him. Die, die, missiles. He charges so fast. It's so nice. Ape Escape 3. I have I have played Snake Eater. Snake Eater, I actually, I actually played through that back in, like, the winter. So that, that wasn't even that long ago. Snake Eater. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, uh, Resident Evil 4, another, another PS2 game. Ghost Kamikaze versus Ghost Nappa. Yeah. Boo Boo Volleyball. Does the other one have like the, the ghost things or just his other forms? Guys, attacks do a chunk of damage. Like, I suppose there's always, like, the argument of, like, you know, is the game better with, like, multiple characters, or is it better with, you know, fewer characters, but they're more unique? Use the fucking... There we go. I hate you so much. Kappa, no. Get out of the water. Water slows down energy. Oh, you're gonna hit by this. Hell yeah, you're dead. Super donut. I guess the other Gotenks has the um, Ghost Kamikaze. Also, a fun fun fact: it took me like years and years to realize that the fusions had like the split face thing going on. I didn't even notice it, so I think someone pointed out like a significant amount of time from when I first, you know, saw the, the characters. Kick the other big bloke's ass. Yeah, yeah. All the fusions half their like half the face is Vegeta, like one of the characters, and the other half is the other character. Like look at like Vegito and Gogeta and stuff. Like like they're they're it's they're the two halves are not even. Okay, he has Galactic Donuts and Super Ghost Kamikaze. Okay, cool. Donuts. And now they explode, I guess. Sure. Oh, shit. Yeah, you never want to be turned around.
you do well. Yeah, straight from Budokai. SS3-1. It, it, it might have been a thing in BT2. Maybe BT1 potentially. Or like, you know, they, they change movesets and stuff like within the games and That's a cool looking attack. Oh the the power slam. All right. That was a kamikaze attack. Oh, you fucker! I mean, you saw it though. I I, I thought it was gonna be like like a rush or something. All's the same though. We have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, I'm going to do one more match. Anyone have any good recommendations? It's got to be a good one, though. Broly and something. Broly and something. Broly and Bardock. How about Broly and Bardock? Supreme Kai world. All right, let's do this. This would be a pretty fun stream. I dig it. I appreciate y'all here. Next week, it's going to be another Yu Gi Oh stream, but it's going to be a little different. It's not going to be another set thing. Yeah, even hell. Oh, shit, he says it. I'm the devil. Ultimate stream. I mean, that would be fun. They do that a lot. They, like, reflect and then immediately shoot a blast, like, fuck you up. Um, Next next stream, because I do have a Yada format tournament I'm I'm hosting called Yada Lives. I have a video on it. Uh, that is March 30th. Uh, so next week for a stream, I'm planning to, to stream matches of that format to kind of like hype up the tournament. The new Naruto game. Oh, like the, uh, yeah, the weird, like storm four game. <laughs> I have not played it. It, it, it. I mean, the DLC seems kind of cool, It, but it does seem like a, like a, like a filler game while they're making like a new storm or something. Uh, okay, I gotta be right next. No, you don't. Get loaded. God, he charges really slow. But I always enjoy the energy. The, um... Oh, you fucker ran away. Boy, would yaddle lock and smile. 
Yeah, he he be licking his lips too while he does it. <laughs> that took like a million years. I want to I want to hit him with the um struggle all you want, but in the end you're still yeah. Struggle all you want. In the end, you're still dead. <laughs> yeah, you thought, you thought, you thought. Ooh. Super Saiyan panic. I am the blue eyes, white dragon. Boom. Wrecked him. Yeah, Broly is considered, like, pretty high tier in this game. That's basically because he's a, he's a giant mongoloid. <laughs> Tenkaichi 3, yeah. That, this, game, this game rocks. Like, even today. Like, this game came out 17 years ago, right? I think, right? It was 2007. Oh, my God. Yeah, that is insanity. The game still rocks, though. Like, if anyone's, like, watching this and, like, thinking, like, hey, should I play Tenkai G3? Absolutely, yes. Um, I'm glad I did this instead of, like, Budokai 3. I feel like I might have got bored with Budokai 3. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I prefer to play Budokai 3, like, on average. Um, But I don't think I could play that game for, like, four hours straight. <laughs> At least, like, just doing matches on stream, you know? Like, Budokai feels more of, like, a game you, you play with other people. For, like, long periods of time. Then just, like, playing by yourself for long periods of time. This game, like, you could do anything. And, yeah, Dragon Sim. Um, and, like, it, it's, it's a simulator. Dragon Ball Z simulator, really. And that's what the fun about these games are. And that's why I hope that Sparky Zero adds, like, everything it can. You know, add, give it the same treatment that Xenoverse 2 did, where it was just like a ton of like characters and DLC and stuff to, and stages to really make it fit. So I'm hoping to do that. Um, we'll probably it'll probably be a while before I do a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Um, it's going off my own calendar. <laughs> um, it might, I would say, May at the earliest. For like you, because I I think I'm the plan. I believe I I would like to try and do is that when I complete the the DM era set tier list, then I would do another video game. In which I still need to do uh, Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos, um, Soul or Ancient Sanctuary, Soul of Duels, Rise of Destiny, Flaming Eternity. So that's at least six streams worth of content right there. And next week's going to be the Yada format stream. Well, technically next week's going to be two Yada format streams, but, um, you know. And then, so yeah, so then it'll probably, maybe it won't be till like, mid-May if if I decide to do that, you know, this unless something else, like, pops up. Because, you know, I wasn't planning on doing this prior to, well, you know, Toriyama. Yep, yep, the uh, the previous streams, which... On my channel, in the live tab, you can see all the previous streams. Um, I'm just doing the uh, the first era of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not doing like GX or 5Ds or anything like that. So like that's that's just where I'm, you know, cut off point for my own sanity, <laughs> for variety's sake. I mean, you know, never say never. Maybe like in the future, but the main thing for right now is like this is like a string of streams. And then we'll do future stuff. I like to do the have it where I'm like streaming just like random video games, like playing through them, right? I could do like Budokai 2 or or Budokai, Budokai Tenkaichi 2 or like Banjo Kazooie or you know, just like whatever. But I'll have to gauge audience interest on stuff like that. Yeah, like well the main thing is like I don't know every card in the GX era, right? <laughs> like it's already takes me long enough to like look through certain cards of these 
DM era sets and be like, what does this do? Even if sets are progressively getting shorter. Um, again, I want I, you know, I'll say never say never for that, but I like to like do other things too, <laughs> and not just be doing that for like an entire year straight. So that can get kind of banal for me, which is where I want to do like the video games, like to split things up. Yeah, most of the the yeah most of the GX stuff is like mostly bad. <laughs> I still th I still think it'd be fun to do, and just for something for my channel to have, I think would be neat. So I you know I wouldn't be opposed. I mean, hell, we could even see it do GX stuff as early as like this year. I mean, we saw a lot of the year to go. It's only like towards the end of March. I mean, years go away fast, but like you know, you know what I mean. I mean, who, who's who's to say? So, yeah, so the plan is so like yeah, next week's gonna be the auto stream, and then after that, you know, six weeks of unless anything's interrupted of that, and then I'm planning to do dark dual stories for the next Yu-Gi-Oh video game because I want to do like early video games for like Yu-Gi-Oh so I can you know play them and like do like my review on them because you know I did the uh, Eternal Dual Soul one last year so I'm so I like to do Dark Dual stories next so that might not be until like mid May mid late May but that's 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 the current plan for that it's it's interesting, all right. It's uh it's a really old Game Boy game. <laughs> it's certainly a bit janky, but I, I think it can be a lot of fun to play on stream. It's one of those games where I will have to research it beforehand so I know what I'm doing and not just jump into it completely blind. Yeah, is it might it might be a little rough, so We'll we'll see. I've I've been putting it off. I'll just say that much. I've I've been putting it off because like those early ones. Because like trust me, I would rather do like, uh, like sacred cards or Rechef or you get a world championship or nightmare of troubadour. You know, just spirit caller, just something different. But I I think it's it's a little more fascinating to talk about. And as a Yu Gi Oh channel, I think it's. It would make for interesting content. And it was the first Yu-Gi-Oh! game I've ever played. My, my friend uh, who lived in the same neighborhood as I had, you know, Eternal Dual Soul. So that was the first Yu-Gi-Oh! game I, I ever played. Yeah, some games you need guides for. <laughs> so, sometimes it's okay to, like, have a resource help through the game or, like, do research beforehand. Oh, and by the way, you're all hearing it first. Um, right now on my Patreon, I have an exclusive Patreon video talking about um, alternate arts I would like to see in the game. I've been doing more like once a month, like off the cuff discussion stuff for like my my Patreons. So there is one I did uh, last month, which was about Sparking Zero. Which is me um, discussing like the roster and stuff. So you know things to like check out for that. So a lot of fun stuff. And also, uh, was also you can also see early on Patreon right now is Sunday's video, which is discussing about the artists of Yu-Gi-Oh. Something that no one really talks about, and something that is like super unknown. Um, I, I don't do, like, deck list stuff on Patreon currently. I could always do it on Patreon, like, once in a while. Um, typically if I have a deck, though, I, it's, it's mainly more of, like, a Discord thing at this point. Alternate y Yada with Broly hair. <laughs> Legendary Super Saiyan Yada. Struggle all you want. In the end, you're still Yada locked. Uh, but the main thing for my Patreon right now is um, early bird access. I, I occasionally will do um, channel updates on the Patreon, like exclusive to that. 
and I'm starting to do a little more frequently um, exclusive videos for that for the Patreon, which is just like random discussion videos. Um, but otherwise, you typically will get a video a week early, potentially two weeks early, depending on the video. Um, in which you know you get Sunday's video, and then the following one you would get the next Yu-Gi-Oh history way early, like two weeks early. And that, you know, things to keep out for. Also, just sports the channel. I mean, you know, two dollars a month. You know, I don't know if a lot of you know how like YouTube works, but <laughs> two dollars a month is more to me than like a thousand views on a video. Because YouTube kind of pays like crap, so that's why people have like Patreons and stuff to like, you know, support the channel and all that. Like, if someone got, like, a million views each month, they still couldn't survive. <laughs> it's insane. Like, people need to have, like, Patreons and sponsorships and deals and all that jazz. Like, it's just a weird necessity of life. And I, I actually do use my Patreon money to go back into the channel. For example, this webcam and this light I have next to the webcam, Patreon money. This monitor, this new monitor I have right here. So now I have like two 4K monitors next to each other. Patreon money. This um monitor, this new monitor I have, so I can have like three monitors set up. Patreon money. It's all Patreon shit. It's all funded by by the the fans. It's an Ouroboros. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube is is crazy. Now, like I, I mean, like my full time job, I work on a on a YouTube channel. I'm like a professional editor, right? It's like my like full time job. And like, you know, like we have our own like startup company, and that you know, like we if we did just YouTube alone, we'd be fucked. Like we have to have like a multi tier strategy with like Patreon and YouTube and like merch and like ad deals and stuff. Like it, it, it works for sustainability, but it's just something that like you have to do because you can't just have like one avenue of that. And you know, my, my own YouTube is not my full time job. <laughs> I barely get paid. I get paid like every other month from like YouTube ad rev, which is you know not that much. I mean, it's 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 nice to have, but yeah, you know, I'm 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 not gonna quit my job anytime soon. Let's just say that much, <laughs> probably ever. <laughs> Majin Janjo. I feel like I did, like, a Majin thing for, like, a stream one time. I don't know what it was for. Pizza delivery driver. It was great until the new store transferred to opened up, and those just go a long way. Oh, for sure. My, my roommate worked at Domino's for a uh, long time. He, 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 he certainly loved it there until uh, management changed and just made the whole place go to shit. But that's just, I mean, that's also tip culture. Tip, tip culture is really terrible, honestly. Like, it sucks that it's it's even a thing. You know, like, uh, places should just pay their employees decent wages. Like, don't put it on the, 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 the patrons to pay the people, you know, a, a respectable living. Spider-Man PS2. Da, 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 da. consideration. Hey, you get free pizza. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a pretty cool perk. A lot of people, a lot of people shit on Domino's. I like Domino's personally. I don't have an issue with their pizza. Really, a lot of fast food pizzas I don't have a big issue with, like Papa John's, Domino's. I think are perfectly acceptable. There are better pizzas, sure, but for what it is, I mean, I can't complain. It's it tastes better than like ketchup on crackers. I've had it some places. Also, can we mention like how cool like this is too of just having like the the main menu be like a class like Toriyama thing with like the car. I like hole in the wall pizza joints. 
Yeah, I like a good old sloppy New York pizza. The old greasy thing. That's my jam. But I will say Domino's has these like these like cheesy bread that has um like feta and spinach in it. Ooh. That's that's speaking my language. Oh, Marcos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of Marcos. Yeah, I think there's one. Ar there might be one around here. There's definitely one where I used to live in the Midwest. It's it's definitely a chain. <laughs> I was at this one in um in like the D.C. area the other week. It was the uh, official sponsor of the Washington Commanders. That was delicious pizza. I um it was called Paisanos, I believe. They were really good. I, I I really dig dug that pizza. We my old team got like a ton. Yeah, more consistent tips. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, they're like the you know McDonald's and Burger Kings of you know and Papa John's is up there too. You know, like they they are like the name brand fast food pizza. Does that make sense? Hey, Necromancy. I hope you enjoy work. We're actually wrapping up the stream currently, but uh, thanks for stopping by real quick. I like Papa John's on the simple fact that they give you, for free, a pepperoncini and garlic sauce. I don't know why other places don't do that for free. They very much should. And that gives Papa John's a, a, a good good edge at times. That, like that is that, that is their edge for me anyway. Because they gave you some, like, free shit. Like, they don't have to, but they do. Yeah, I mean, Marcos is, is, is a chain. Like, they're not bad. I mean, they, they're, they're better than, like, cheap places. You know what I mean? Like, it's better than they, uh, like, a Little Caesars. It's probably, like, less greasy than, like, a Domino's. So, I mean, there you go. I guess in that regard, it's better. I haven't had their cheese bread, but I'll have to try. I don't know where the closest one near me is. I thought it was like a Midwest thing until I saw a thing like around here for it. <laughs> so I guess like they're really spreading out. The up and coming pizza chain. I wasn't too like impressed by it beforehand, but I, I, I definitely did see them as like better as like some other options. But typically I still kind of went to Domino's personally. But I, you know, I've gone to Domino's my whole life, so that's 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 more to me. Garlic oil on the cheesy bread. Damn, I gotta get some cheesy bread, y'all. You're making me. So for me, every Friday is frozen pizza Friday. That has been a thing since like I was a kid. But sometimes you gotta get some good pizza. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta get. Where where is the closest Marcos to me? I I gotta, I gotta look this up right now. Oh, there's nowhere like that close to me. Oh, geez, yeah, no, it's kind of a drive away from where I live. If I went to if I drove to Marcos. It would take half an hour. So it's not out of the question for me. Like if I if I'm like if I'm in the area, I could theoretically go to Marcos. But I, I would have to go out of my way. So that's that that might not be on the table for me. But there's a lot of good pizza places like where I live, in like Maryland. So not the end of the world. There's some really good places near me. Some good old New York pizza. Honestly, though, I would love to have like a one of those like pizza ovens you can get on like Amazon. It's like three hundred bucks, or whatever. You know, you get it. 
know, you can keep it inside. Because I'm gonna donate like three hundred dollars so I can get a pizza oven. <laughs> Cause I would totally do. I would totally do that. I remember I I had an ex one time. We would occasionally make these like. She had like a. Uh, I guess her her parents had a. It was a toaster oven, but had a compartment underneath for like pizzas. You like slid out, pineapples and cherries. I like pineapples, but I've never heard cherries on pizza. Weird. Um. But yeah, we used to take like. It was essentially like pita bread put like olive oil on it. <laughs> you know, and like um a little bit of cheese. Very like classic style stuff. But I mean I would love to make my own pizza. Like that would be killer if I had like the know how and like the, the tools and stuff. See, I don't like cherries personally. I I think I don't mind if there's like if it's like you know that a certain cherry flavor for me kind of tastes like medicine. I mean I have I have like a normal oven. I mean I could make a but the the, the thing aren't like pieces though that you're supposed to ideally cook them in like really high heat and I think a lot of those times like ovens don't hit that temperature unless you do like like you got to go like max out for those, right? Like five hundred degrees kind of thing. Like seven hundred degrees, however much it is. Is that the whole thing with like the pizza oven? So is that like they're supposed to go? Yeah, I think a certain cherry is just like. So like I never actually I never eat normal cherries. Like certain things are a cherry flavor I can eat, but cherries themselves. I think I have. A pizza oven on one of my like Amazon shopping lists. <laughs> also, a bread maker. That's also. <laughs> I want to make my own bread. Oh, yeah, yeah. A solo stove pie prime gas. Oh, oh, okay. This is an outdoor one. How hot does this thing get? Heat up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, I don't have any space outside. Like, I I live... I, I mean, it's ground level, but I live in an apartment. I, mean, I guess I could cook it outside. I need a place to, like, put it on, though. Yeah, but I think with pizza ovens... Yeah, they're supposed to cook at, like, really high heat. In which normal ovens don't get to that heat. And that's like that's like the main difference. That's why you get like a pizza a separate pizza oven. But I did have an old coworker that had one like in his basement he got from like an auction. <laughs> in okay, you can specify indoor. Four hundred or below. Yeah, because you you work for pizza. Wait, wait. Which one do you do pizzas? Crazy does pizza. Yeah. Okay, so I can get like a... <laughs> that looks like trash. Some of these just look like quesadilla makers. So we got a driver, we have a cook, and we have a guy who's willing to, to, to put this all together. I, I think we have a restaurant brewing. I think that's that's what's going on here. <laughs> 4 to 11, Friday to Sunday. I mean, honestly, I, I thought, like, when I was a kid, I'm like, oh, it'd be fun to, like, work in pizza. Just get, like, free pizza and shit and make pizza and smell pizza. But, like, my roommate, like, his car, like, used to just reek of pizza. And his, like, clothes would, like, smell of pizza and stuff. I think it'd be fun to, like, make them. But even, like, delivering, like, you just smell, like, you just smell pizza all day. You just drive around. I don't think I would ever actually do it, but. Okay, there's one that's, like, $400. Oh, yeah, 
He's up to 800 degrees. You have options for pan, frozen, thin crust, New York manual, and Neapolitan. It doesn't look very big, though. 12 inch. Is 12 inch big for a pizza? I need, can I can I can I drag this over to this? Now I need I need to do a window capture here. Where 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 is this at? Window capture. Yeah, here, here we go. <laughs> it might might be better. Where can't do I have a can full screen screen full screen? Bam! Here I am. Hello. This is this is the the full webcam of mine. Yeah, look look at look at look at look at this though. Look at this. That's great. Now I gotta fix this back. All right. Well, I think I'll call it a stream there, though. Well, I'll dream. I'll dream a pizza for sure. But uh, yeah, you know, thanks for all for showing up. Hopefully, I'll see you all next week again. You know, got a video uh, coming up on Sunday, or you can join my Patreon, in which you'll see that for free. Well, see you free for two dollars. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, take care. Spike your hair, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully, I need to get that cactus cooler. You got to donate money so I can get the cactus cooler. Donate $20. All right. See ya.